We live, we live, we live. All right, what's up, Total Riders? How are we all doing out there tonight? Good? Excellent. Let me uh, pull in my guests here. Hold on. Oh, look at this. We got to fix this, don't we? Can't have that. Oh, that'll do. Ghetto blue screen. There we go. We're good. Okay, anyway, I'm bringing these guys in now. All right, with us tonight, we have uh, uh, Brett's with us. How you doing, Brett? Good, good, good. A lot better than last time we did this. <laughs> yes, excellent. Uh, and uh, also, we're having an intern on tonight. We're going to give him another chance. How you doing, intern? I'm doing all right. Thanks for the chance. Excellent, excellent. Thanks for joining us. So we had the 902 show. We actually got here pretty close on time tonight. That's not bad. Uh, look, at guys, I've gone ahead and I've shared this link uh, to the stream on the Clarence Woods Emerson page which is kind of like the primary page, if you will. we got like 24, 25,000 followers on there. Uh, the Uncle Turtle Boy page, which you should like as well, like all the pages. Uh, we're up to like almost 13,000 there. That's not too shabby. Uh, keep on liking that. Uh, also on Parlor, on Parlor, I'm at Turtle Boy. And on Twitter, I just passed 3,000 followers today. You can find me on Twitter, at TB underscore Aiden, A-I-D-A-N. That's at TB underscore Aiden. Uh, also, you can follow our primary account, at Turtle Boy tweets as well. Uh, so go ahead and share it. Let people know that we're live. We got over, we got 100 followers right now, 100 people here. Let's keep this going, keep this going, and uh, we'll have a good time. All right. Okie dokie, folks. So uh, let's get this party started. Before we get anything started, really, how we like to start every episode is with a little thing called Where You Reppin'. So do me a favor in the comments right now and let us know where you're watching the Turtle Boy live show from tonight. Go. In the comments right oh. now. Taunton, Abington, uh, let's see, St. Albans, whatever that is, um, Nashua, Methuen, Scarborough, Maine, Tucson, Randolph, New Bedford, Connecticut, Raleigh, Hudson, Whit Wittensville, Manchester, Taunton, Middleborough, Ipswich, Okie Dokie Smokies, oh, that's not a place, Alpine, Texas, West Roxbury, Leah's Tub, Hot, West Bridgewater, Auburn, Wisconsin, Salem, Mass, Woonsocket, East Wakefield, New Hampshire. That's a new one. The Aqueduct Racing Track. All right. Bridgewater, Skituit, Agawam, Walpole, Naples, Florida, Jersey Shore, Holden, Massachusetts, Malden, Nashua, New Hampshire, London, 
Salem, Massachusetts, Milton, Johnstown, Pennsylvania, West Tadnix in the house, Poland, Radom, uh, New Bedford, Tiverton, Derry, New Hampshire, Maine, Peabody, Drake, and Mogadishu. That's a new one. Uh, we've got a big follower in Mogadishu, the Ilhan Omar clan out there. Uh, Burrowville's in the house, Denver, Colorado. That's a new one. Um, somebody says, I wish I was in Leah's hot tub. Fall River, uh, Worcester, another Fall River, Long Island, Stacy Bynes, Pooper. Excellent. That's wonderful. Yeah. Uh, Melrose, West Bridgewater, <laughs> Millbury, Haverhill, Conway, New Hampshire, Walpole, Fall River, Kate's Bathroom, Derry, New Hampshire, Mapleville, Floss. That's a new one. Floss, Moore, Illinois. That's a new one. All right. So if I missed you, I missed you. But um, we are rolling in here. The audience is looking good. We're looking fresh. And I think we're about ready to start this program. Uh, so, uh, yeah, go ahead and share that. Also, guys, look at we are a self-funded show now at this point, uh, meaning that, you know, we don't do advertisers on here for now. We'll see what happens in the future. But for now, uh, we keep the show going because of the good folks like you. It's kind of like PBS. So if you feel like donating and we can raise 200 in the Super Chat tonight, because we're banned from PayPal, so you got to do it in the Super Chat. There is an icon at the bottom right on your phone, a little cash money sign. If you feel like donating, you can write whatever message you want to go along with that. If we raise $200, I got a freestyle plan. Brad has heard it. What do you think, Brad? It's, I like it. Uh, what, what's the beat? Who's? It's who's Nas. That? I can by Nas. This one. Uh, nice. I know I can. It's a good one, I promise. Okay? So that one's coming tonight. If we can raise 200 in the super chat, and, and we'll be good. Okay? All right. So... Um, anything else I'm missing here before we get started? We're just going to jump right into it. Hmm. Let's do it. Sure. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, cool. All right. Uh, Brett, do you have a favorite story of the, of the ones I sent you? Yeah. The, um, the, the lady that's in dire need of a freezer. That, okay. Let's talk the, the food stamp freezer. That lady. thin wave of a woman. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That was, me, uh, that's the funniest one anyway. All right, we're up to two dollars, so only 198 away. So we're, we got a good start here. Okay, good. Thank you, Dave. Um, let's pull it up. Debbie does diabetes. We call her. Okay, <laughs> there she goes. There she blows. Okay, so uh, her name, her real name is Elizabeth Hager. And let me read. Uh, she had an interesting. Oh, oh, oh. good goodness Ooh, gracious! That's a fucking Ooh. set of milk, is isn't it? Mm. Good lord! Ooh. Do you think? Do they she think like pull a yeah. golf ball through a garden hose? If you throw those out there like that, uh, do you think that we just ignore the rest of you? Is do they do they think we're that simple minded as guys? Like, no, stop it. So, anyways, this I didn't right. see her face until I didn't see her until face what? until the third picture with her and the the bald lady or whatever. Because all the other two pictures are just sweating. <laughs> I believe that's her husband, Brett. Yes. So anyway, no, uh, that's a bald lady. That's a. I don't think it is. I think I'm. That's a bald lady. No, not oh, above that. Bald, above that. Oh, that, oh that's a bald. That's lady a bald sure. lady. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I thought you were like Shep this from fucking Three Stooges. All right. <laughs> so ahead. she goes. Right. Um, I'm in search of a four foot deep, two to three foot wide chest freezer, having an overabundance of food stamps coming to me, all legally but don't have the fridge or freezer space to use them. Can't pick it up within 20 minutes of orange. Can't pick it up within 20 minutes of orange. Can't pay gas if willing to deliver. Trying to stay around a hundred dollars. Thank you, Morley TV. We're up to $7. So there we go. Um, is, it, so, is it ironic that she calls it a small chest freezer? Uh, why? What? Because she's, uh, I see. I see. What you, I see. Is it good? There you go. I see what You're you did there. Yourself. Yeah, I see what you did there. So, um, Anyway, uh, the f overabundance of food stamps. Uh, to me, there's something fundamentally wrong with a country that gives food stamps to this human being right here. Like, it's, I don't want to be mean or anything like this, but I feel like, isn't food stamps like an anti starvation thing? Yeah. 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 Like, supposed to, well, you need help. Yeah. Getting the staples, you know, so you get by. Yeah. Like, you know, this, I, I guarantee this fucking wildebeest could count the meals she's missed in the last decade on one fucking hand. Right. Uh, and so, Look like, at her. You, like could, you could eat her tits. You would, but I wouldn't recommend. No. <laughs> yeah. Why not? Uh, 
be yeah. like bacon. I could shove my head up a butcher's ass, but I wouldn't to see a T-bone. Uh, no, I wouldn't. I bet you it smell better than that cleavage. <laughs> I just feel like in this country that uh, food stamps and, and, and SNAP program was created. It's like an anti-starvation, anti-poverty thing, right? Uh, newsflash, this bitch ain't starving. I, I, something tells me she's not starving. I don't know about it. Like We're the only country in the world where, you know, allegedly people like the people living in poverty are morbidly obese. Like you do the math. OK, that's just American values. It's like what people here value. They get used to sucking off the government, whatever. Now, to me, you should there should be a little like I, I don't begrudge anybody for being on food stamps. Times are tough. I get it. I'm not whatever. I'm not judging you for being on food stamps. Mm. What I've always been against is that like there should be like, you know, you should not be proud of it. You know what I mean? Like you should not be on there be like, oh, I got not only am I on food stamps, I have an overabundance of food stamps. Her words, not mine, an overabundance of food stamps. Thank you, Michael Collins, who says, Turtle Fund Donation, thank you for all you do. Appreciate it, sir. Okay, uh, so an overabundance of food stamps. So much, the government gave her so much that she doesn't even have any fucking room in the fridge to store all the food stamps. All the food that she's going to buy with the food stamps. So thank you very much. We are up to, by my count, uh, I believe that would be uh, $67. So we're getting two -third, one third of the way there. Thank you very much. So she, she has an overabundance of food stamps. And she can't get, to, um, she doesn't even have enough space in the fridge. So she's literally buying a freezer or whatever. And I don't know what she's saying here. It's on the ground, like an overabundant. I need a wide chest freezer. So she's literally just buying a freezer to store her excess food from the food stamps because she's struggling for food that much. Now that means that the government, right, gave her too much, which means she don't need all that. So what do you guys think is the appropriate thing to do in a situation like that? Well, go ahead, intern. He's got nothing. Oh. All right. No, uh, my I'm, my I'm, first I'm, question I'm is, up, me guess. you guys are reading the comments. Yeah, come on. Let's go. No, I'm right here. Why add the food stamps thing to it? That's my question. Why not just say, hey, I'm looking to spend around 100 bucks plus extra if you deliver it because I need a freezer. And leave it at that. Good Why point. not just do that? That's a good point. Thank you, like by the it, way, Christine. You threw that in there. You had to know it was coming. You know what I mean? I'm surprised it didn't have no negative comments. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> you know, that, that's, that's actually a good point, right? She could have just said, I have, can I get a freezer? Does anybody know where yeah, I can get a freezer? looking to buy. Yeah. I didn't even think that. Like, she doesn't even have to explain Why? any of this. Why you add the food the freezer? Yeah. So thank you very much, Christina and Amanda. By the way, we're up to 87 by my count. Thank you very much. Yeah, like you said, if you need, if first of all, you don't have to admit any of this. No Nobody one gives a why you need it. Yeah, but she needs it. But she announced why. I feel, and I now that I think about it, Brett, I feel like she put that out there just to be like to rub it in the taxpayers' faces, right? That like we're paying for all this shit. I, you know yeah, what I mean? To feel bad for me. Look, I need. I need to. Be able to store my food. Oh, yeah. please help me. Even deliver oh, yeah. it. Yeah. So and, and like she clearly has no shame in it all because this Good is her. a country. She's not. Yeah, she's not. Now this one chick, <laughs> Stephanie Johnson, is kind of the hero we all need here. She chimes in and says, "You don't shop a week at a time. You don't need to buy it all at once, right?" And that makes sense. She goes, "I already shop a week at a time. What I'm saying is." I have a large balance on my card, and after a year of them being on the card and not being used, DTA takes them back, and I don't want to lose them if I can help. So time out, time out, time out. So if, if they gave you too much in food stamps and you're going to lose them if you don't use them, then just don't use them because it's literally they exist so that you don't starve to death. Clearly, you're not starving to death. You don't fucking need them. Give them back. Well, this reminds me of just the, uh, the story, though. What? I did? You did. No, she did. She just changed how, the story. How so? At first, it was I have a large amount of food stamps coming to, to me. Like it's going to be here, and I want to get this freezer so when it does, I can store all my hot pockets and diet yeah. soda. Fuck out of here. Yeah. And now it's oh no, this balance has been on my card for so long that if I don't spend it now, they're going to take it back. It's it, it's not both. <laughs> 
You know what I'm saying? It's either yeah, they're no, coming. Right. And they're going to take it back or. I mean, I'm yeah, it makes no sense. And how no, the fuck? Yeah. All right. So you I, have I, I a, a, the rip of money in food stamps, but you also have a hundred dollars to throw away on a freezer. Yeah. What, like what you do you, what you said, Why the fuck are you on food stamps then? I don't have a hundred bucks to throw away on nothing. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> you know what I mean? Good point. What do you got, intern? Uh, no, I, I'm just saying, I look at it as like uh, Michael Scott from The Office there. Whenever he has to spend the X amount of money and they have to figure out whether it's the uh, printer or the new chairs. Oh, you know? that, oh, bonus points for you right there. That's a good point. <laughs> kind of like what it is. Except it's the government's money. It, well, exactly. Money. Exactly. <laughs> it doesn't matter, you know. Right. Right. But, so obviously uh, this chick, and as, let's see what they go. Because it gets worse here. It goes on. So she goes, uh, and by the way, thank you there, uh, B. Burke. So we're now up to 112. So we're over halfway there. We're good. Okay. Um, I already, um, so the person, then Jezebel, her name's fucking Jezebel with a Z, two Zs, Jezebel. Okay. Yeba. I guess your first explanation was enough. Apparently not. Now you Google this bitch. First thing that comes up is larceny from a building. Okay. Um, what else we got here? Uh, what else? She has oh, did, no ID to seen for shoplifting. Okay. A bunch. So she's a thief. Okay. She's a thief. Now she actually credits herself. This is one of my funny parts. Um, Jezebel tells her Elizabeth that you handled this well. Like how did she handle it? Well, what did she do? And she goes, thanks. I've been working on my anger issues and I actually used my breathing technique from my therapist for this. So she's literally patting herself on the back. Not for going like full ratchet. Oh, See, I didn't like tell that. Bitch no, you said shit. not going full Brett. Not going full Brett. Thank you. You should not have going said full. going full. Yeah, that's fucked up. Full Brett killer in. <laughs> full Brett killer in. Uh, so she credits yeah. herself for that. And I love Stephanie's response. She goes, sorry, I don't know much about food stamps. And you know that fucking sets her off when she says that. <laughs> <laughs> you know that sets that's her a off. nice that's subtle a dig, though. That's fucking It really great. is. That is a good dig right there. Sorry. Like, obviously, you're a food stamp expert. I, I wouldn't know the first thing. I'll take your word for it. <laughs> so she goes on to say, Je um, ther um, what are you guys trying to say? Because I don't know, um, know much to say. I, I need therapy, blah, blah, blah. And she goes, okay. So even if she is getting more than she might need right this second, or maybe she got school donations to help out or whatever the case may be, if she can use them and store the frozen stuff, then by all means, she should. No, she shouldn't. Shut up. Jesus. Maybe she buys in bulk because... No, 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 no. Maybe she buys in bulk because she's financially responsible. You're on food stamps. You're not financially responsible. That's why you're on food stamps, okay? And I mean, you don't buy in bulk. Bulk buying is not for people that are on food stamps, okay? That's it. That's not how this... That's not how the fucking program works. It's an anti-starvation thing, not a hoard all the food and put it in the fucking uh, freezer that I just bought off of Craigslist thing. No, no, no. She's yeah, bulky. It doesn't mean she buys in bulk. It's They're not mutually exclusive. That's true. That's true. I bet uh, she eats in bulk. The, she, both are true. Both are true statements. There Sorry. are certain valid reasons for her to be looking for a freezer. The only reason needed for the internet is that she is looking for one and can't afford much. Oh, blah, blah, blah. And then I yeah. love, and then some, now she starts going full ratchet. She goes, I love it. Super glad I'm able to have my free mass health pay for it. People want to be fucking rude and asshole. Guess what? Two can play that game. Fuckers. Like so that now that then the then the caps locks come out and she goes, Never did I say you needed therapy. And seriously, it's not your goddamn business what the fuck I get for food stamps, donations, or anything else. For your fucking nosy ass info, I called my damn DTA worker and reported it because I'm receiving more than I need, and I know others who don't get enough. My worker said, just go with it. First of all, your worker did not say that. Okay, honey, you like we all agree with that, right? The worker did not actually say that. Of course not. Uh, that, yeah. This conversation never happened. There's no right. way that fucking this beluga fucking whale offered to give food money back. Zero <laughs> fucking chance of it. Zero point. Like she checks with her DTA worker and her D like, hey, by <laughs> the way, can I like, you know, keep my 
uh, DTA stamps, like blow it all. Oh yeah, definitely. Just do that. Definitely do that. Just, just go with it, honey. Just go with it. And you know, she's hey, they overpaid me on my Twinkie fund. What should I do? Oh no, just keep it. That conversation happened. Absolutely oh, yeah. not. <laughs> so uh, Debbie does diabetes. Is obviously really mad about it. And uh, yeah, oh. what else? Yeah. Uh, anything else from her? Caller. You said all this shit by posting a comment that implied I'm a moron and don't know how food stamps work. And now I'm going to be the asshole. Yes, I live off welfare. It's fucking awesome. I also get free fucking health care. You know what else? My husband works and makes actual money. So fucking eat that, you fucking troll. Go fly a kite. So this is lovely. This is where your tax dollars mm. go towards me. And gentlemen, she's health care. And by the way, her health care is going to be significantly more than yours. Because she lost her first child for diabetes. Like, no other way around mm. it. And uh, they, good job. Good job, taxpayers. Anyway, uh, anything else with this one? Or call her up. She, she, yeah, call her. she got rid of her Facebook. I checked it out. Uh, she, she's one of those. She, uh, for, she a chick who has, for a chick who has no shame, she sure found shame rather quickly. Let's just put it that way. Can we do the John for Solo story? I love this one. Yeah. Yeah, okay. All right, so oh wait, wait. go ahead, start. I gotta grab me other iced coffee. Out okay. of the fridge. So anyway, uh John for solo intern. Do you remember this gentleman? That name reckon like, I okay. Yeah, he was that, in the that name spot. I didn't recognize. Like pre-Turtle Boy, this guy was like a very scandalous figure. Okay. He was a state representative from Worcester, uh, from like the east side of Worcester, and you know. A lot of Italian people live over that side of the Worcester. So basically all you have to do is just be Italian and you can get elected essentially. And like, you know, say that you're against the Christopher Columbus statue coming down. And that's pretty much all you have to do to get elected from that side of the city. So anyway, uh, there's Johnny for solo, except the dude is possibly one of the shadiest motherfuckers. Okay. Here he is. He was arrested in 1996 for assaulting his then wife. And he gets confronted about it at a standout here in this video. Check this out. An interview with John Fasolo right now as we speak. Representative Fasolo, how are you today? How are you? State Representative Fasolo, what do you have to say about the allegations that are being made against you? Uh, and it looks like it's not just from the newspaper. It looks like it's coming from elsewhere. You have no comment? Well, there you are, folks. We're uh, standing at Rice Square <laughs> with some John Fasolo supporters and the state representative who doesn't want to make a comment on what has been published in the Worcester Telegram Gazette and what looks to be an ongoing matter. So he's not answering. So this is like what you get. So this guy was literally... He, he won this election, by the way. This video is like 15 years old. He wins that election. Uh, and then in 2006, the uh, Department of Social Services supported allegations that he struck his then 13-year-old daughter. So that's good. And then later in 2006, there was an incident that made the news. He got locked inside St. John's Cemetery after closing, and he had to break through the gate. So when he does that, the cops are alerted. They get there, and they're like, what are you doing in a cemetery? After hours, he's like, oh, I was visiting a grave after hours. And they're like, whose grave? He's like, oh, I forget. I forget. So, a.k.a., I think we can all agree he was getting a blow <laughs> right? All you have to say is like yeah, Ted well, Johnson well. Or, or, you know, Smith or any, any of the. Or just say, like, I was cheating on my wife and I was getting a blowjob. Can you let me go? Can like, we get a pass? <laughs> Do you want to get against the rules? Yeah. yeah. Anything what? besides in the middle of the night, I was paying my respects at someone's grave. That makes zero sense. Yes, that makes zero sense, especially, like you said, when you can't name them. That makes even less sense. Thank you, Just Me says, uh, for oxygen, for sour milk and cheese. So we are up to, and then we got another, uh, a, a dub says the super sticker, whatever that means. So we are up to, um, I believe that will bring the count to 162. So we're 38 short, 38 short of the count. We're getting there. I That's bet good. it was a dude. That did what? That he was hooking up with? Yeah, he was hooking up with a grinder date and fucking getting bent over a fucking sarcophagus. Yeah, well, I, I, I haven't gotten any messages from men that said that he's creeping on them. So I don't know about that, Brett. But anyway, but then All in right. 2013, this is 
maybe my favorite John for solo scandal. In 2013, while still a state rep, he sent dick pics to a female aide. Okay, and then tried blaming it. This is his literal excuse. Let me just, I, I couldn't believe this when I read this. He said it was one photo, and it was a photo that someone sent me of his own dick. So somebody sent him a photo of his own dick that ended up, by the way, on his state rep computer. <laughs> so it's like some dick <laughs> on his fucking computer at work. And um, that someone sent me that ended up on the computer. It was there for months. And he knew nothing about it, he said. It was all rumors, he said. It was people coming back to smear my reputation and good name. Dude, you just got caught in the freaking parking lot <laughs> getting a blowjob in a cemetery after hours. You were arrested for domestic violence. You were uh, accused of beating your daughter. You don't have a good name, okay? There's nothing to smear there. Like, you, you sending dick pics to an aide is the least offensive thing you've done in your life, quite frankly. Okay. And, um, anyway, uh, so he's sending dick pics. I mean, can you believe that? Like that is one of the greatest things I've ever heard. The greatest excuses. So what's up with this dick pic that you sent this woman? Oh no, 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 no. Someone sent that dick pic to me, but it is your dick, right? Well, yeah. Well, how, wait, what? Fuck. And then he's just like, no, oh, they're trying to smear my reputation and good name. Okay, John, sure thing. But that didn't get him to resign. What ended up getting him to resign is he starts freaking ripping off the taxpayers. So state reps get paid a per diem to go. like So they cover their costs to work. For some reason, they get to drive to work for free. Okay. And, but John, not Johnny Fasol, like when you live out in Worcester, right? A lot of these people, they carpool to work. It makes no sense. Like all the state reps here, I'm sure some of them carpool to work. Thank you, Diane Wood Emerson. Appreciate that. Uh, so we are up to there 167. Okay. Anyway, um, anyway, uh, so they, they carpool and work some of these people. And this guy is running up the bill saying, and they get reimbursed for this shit. So he's reimbursing himself all this money and they find out he's not even driving in there. Somebody else is driving him in there. So it's a huge scandal. This is what ultimately gets him um, uh, to pay it. So taxpayers gave him $8,676 to allegedly drive to the state house. Funny thing is, no one can remember seeing him in a while. So he wasn't even going into work. <laughs> okay. And he was oh, still man. getting money to pay back the travel. So he had to resign. The Dem right. He's a Democrat. The Democrats turned against him. Right. And even they were like, uh, you know, when they turned against him, even they were like, um, dude, you got to sit down. You get like, you're, you're too shady even for us. Like we're the, we're the party that looks past Hunter Biden. But you, you're too much for us. You got it. You're getting blowjobs and parking lot. It's you can't have that shit. Okay. So he has to step down. He maintains his innocence, and then he opens his bar called Rockies. Now, when Rockies first opened in Kelly Square, I go, oh, thank you very much. Um, JB says Ida, let me out of the handcuffs. Okay, so now yeah. we are up to 187. So we're very close, very close. And then Diane Woods Emerson puts us over the top. Now I get it. Happy New Year's, Terry. Thank you very much, Daniel. Episode. So we are there. The freestyle has been locked, but if you feel like donating, that's that. Anyway. Walter Bird. Walter Bird, yeah. Um, <laughs> so anyway, um, he opens his bar, and I hear about it. So I go down there because I'm interested in local advertisers at the time. Turtle Boy was in its infant stages, and that's how I used to make money. So I went down there, and I introduced myself, and I said, I told him what Turtle Boy was, and I'm like, hey, you should advertise on the blog if you're interested. And he was frustrated. I could tell he's frustrated. And I'm like, and he's angry. And so I'm, he agreed to it. And I'm like, okay, cool. You're going to you're gonna like this best decision you made. We're going to give you much better prices and value than the Telegram and Whisper Magazine. He fucking lost the dude. He snapped on me. He snapped on me. Fucking, I, I already fucked. He told me to shut the fuck up. He goes, you already made the sale. Now shut the fuck up and basically get the fuck out. I'm like, okay. Oh, sorry, dude. Relax. I'm like, oh, this guy didn't pay me, whatever. I'll just put up with it. And I'm like, this dude's fucking crazy. He only advertised for one month. Okay. And Rockies, the bar lasted for about a year and it got shut down because all the underage drinking, like it was infamous because nobody wanted to go there. And so what he started doing was uh, just letting in college kids. Like everybody knew it was a, a bar for college kids. He let this bitch in there. Remember this bitch, Brett, our, our intern? Yeah, she got out. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Serve yeah. herself behind the bar. Yeah. She, uh, well, she got uh, the video I don't have anymore. I should have saved the video. It was on an older blog from four years ago. 
She, this is at Rocky. She's behind the bar serving up drinks. Oh, is that not a video? Is that just a picture? God damn it. It's just a picture. Oh, you know what I did? I embedded a tweet. And then this person must have realized I used their tweet in the blog. And they've removed their tweet. So that happens sometimes. So the video is no longer there. But anyway, she got in a huge fight outside of um, the bar. At Rocky's bar. And then she started screaming, calling the woman the N-word. And shit. Like it was really ratchet shit. Anyway, that's her. This is for Solo's daughter, Francesca. Okay. Uh, who was involved in an armed robbery of pot and ended up getting probation over it. So anyway, D Dick Pick Johnny for Solo seems to have disappeared from the earth. However, about a year and a half ago, this chick I know uh, from the Worcester area starts messaging me and she's like, John for Solo will not stop fucking messaging me. Okay, he won't stop doing it. Oh, thank you, Leah Genduso. Make the freestyle account, will do. And it says, Happy New Year, Unc. Thank you, 13 Kings. I appreciate that. Um, anyway, uh, so John Fasolo's, uh starts messaging random chicks. Okay, so I hear from this chick I know about a year and a half ago or so, and she's like, yeah, John Fasolo won't stop messaging me weird shit. And so she starts showing me the screenshots. And it's just like, let me know when you might be free. Now, keep in mind, this guy's like 55, probably, <laughs> maybe 60. I know you're tied up quite a bit. Okay, so that's April 3rd. Next day, in the morning, by the way, 721, he wakes up. Good morning, beautiful. Morning wood. Yeah, no, yeah, definitely morning wood. Uh, two days later, hi. A couple days later, hi, beautiful. <laughs> oh, when do you okay. get the hint? Yeah, and then the next two weeks later, you are beautiful. <laughs> and then again, you are gorgeous. Let's get together. Simple coffee or lunch, whatever. Okay. <laughs> and then more. Uh, you are beautiful. Good morning. Beautiful. Every fucking day. And so that does notice not one response. Now, gentlemen out there, like, let me ask you guys, right? Now, Brett, you've been out of the game for a while. An intern somewhat of a bit too, if I recall. Yeah. If you if you were hitting on a chick, and you were like sending her messages and stuff like that, oh, you sent her out of this conversation. Okay, you, you send a chick a message. She <laughs> doesn't mention. She doesn't message back. What do you do? Maybe you, one more. Stop. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Maybe, Maybe one, one more. more. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like you know, you know, you just uh, you throw it out. Like you know, I was trying to bang you the first time, obviously. And you know you didn't <laughs> respond. Clearly, I'm you're not like soaking wet because of me yet. We're not there yet. However, <laughs> maybe I can just throw it out there again. Like, how about some dick? Like, you know, how about it? Like last effort. Like I would say two times at most. If she doesn't get back to you the second time, that's it. It ain't happening, right? Exactly. Get like, the especially get when the you can see if it's been seen or not. Yeah. Exactly. Like right again, in PM, you can see if it's been seen. Brett, do you think he's fucking crafty enough right. to know that? Do you think this guy? You think John for Solo oh. knows how to know when your DM has been read? I don't think this is his first rodeo trying to fucking get some fucking insta dick. Oh, it's not at all. I think but I don't. This, think, you think I, this I don't is the think only broad that he's done this to? Oh, it's definitely not he the only all brother. The time. But my point is, I don't think this guy has a fucking clue how Facebook Messenger works. And he probably has no idea how to know who's right. He maybe he's thinking in his head, yo, maybe she didn't read my first 20 messages. You know, maybe she didn't read my let first send 20 another messages. one. Yeah, let me send another <laughs> one. Maybe it'll work this time. Well, guess what? It didn't work. So he brings out the big guns. Okay. The bathroom self. Yeah. <laughs> the bathroom self. Dude, you're like 55. Okay. How do you like me now? Yeah, Phil, oh, now, you know what? I didn't want to fuck this guy. Now she'll me. answer. Yeah. Before now she was playing she coy, watch. she's like, oh, he's calling me beautiful. Oh, uh, wait, a bathroom selfie? Oh, let me answer this motherfucker quick. Yeah, mate, yeah. I'm dripping over here. You know what she's thinking? Yeah. If I were her, I would honestly just reply back, now I got to see your dick. No, well, or no I I, if I was her, I'd send him a dick pic. I'd be like, hey, <laughs> check it out. Boom. <laughs> Fucking yeah. throw a salamander on the hook right in front of him. How you like this? I like you this. Throw hot? How about this? Well, that's the one yeah. thing I'm amazed by all this. This guy has a history of sending dick pics, but of all the women, I've I've, I've spoken to five women now that have reached out about him, and not one of them has gotten a dick pic yet, unsolicited. I feel like 
that was kind of coming soon though. You know, you know, that's what he's thinking. Like, okay, I called a go. Let me do the John for solo checklist here. I called a beautiful, I called a gorgeous. Um, I, I did the bathroom selfie. That didn't work. Maybe I got to bring out the big guns. Time for a dick pic. Yeah, or this this picture and just flop it onto the sink right there. Casual, just go. Yeah. Just lay it throw on it the out. sink right there with the blue shorts. Just throw it out there. Let's get together. Let's get together, he says. Okay. <laughs> then he goes, last post. Okay, so this is June 2nd. Let's get together. No response. Then nine days later, last post, you're gorgeous. Last okay. chance, lady. You think that's really his last post? That's at 1 a.m., by the way. Absolutely <laughs> not. Yeah. I can and see the six thirty nine already. <laughs> let's let's get together. It was far from his last one. Okay, so that fails. Same chick, by the way. Uh, Same chick. Now, a, a month or so later, the bathroom selfie didn't work out. So he's going to go with the more sophisticated, the LinkedIn picture. Okay, <laughs> he sends the LinkedIn. You are so beautiful. <laughs> that's it. That's the one. That looks. That's the one. Yeah. What's that? Oldpeopledating.com. GoldenGirls.com or whatever, the old people dating site. That's what that looks like, that picture. You know what I'm talking about? YourTime.com or something? Yeah. It's it's something like, like that, like coffee yeah. dating. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, he goes on to say, um, uh, he also has a book written, okay? My friend Richard Wright stopped by today to drop off a copy of his new book, The John for Solo Saga. So time out. My friend Richard Wright decided he's going to write a book called John for Solo Saga, aka this John for Solo clearly paid this guy to write a book, right? Yeah, I had to have. Yeah. About, Why like, else do that? Yeah, it's like. So what's the book about? It's the book that tells the truth about what happened to me and why I decided to resign as state representative. I hope that you will take the time to get the book and read the book so you know. You will know the first time what really happened, the John for Solo saga. Okay, and here's here's the um, the reading. This is what the book's about on Amazon. Okay, unrelated right. to any of the standing thirteen allegations under investigation, <laughs> not taken under oath or during the hearings to blackmail for Zolo into resigning. What started with a young naive state house staffer seeking an easy way to get a transfer and promotion. Turned into a witch hunt, uh, fueled by false accusations, testimony, confused and contradictory evidence in a sham process of investigation that denied the accused the right to challenge the evidence or cross-examine witnesses amid a swirl of sexually charged headlines. The complainant went from her happiest day as a newlywed to accepting a dreaded speaker special job and eventually leaving the state house permanently. Well, for solo went from an unopposed election victory for an eight term to a humiliating resignation under circumstances that were kept a secret. So blah, blah, blah. So he's basically saying that she's a liar, right? Yeah. In, in but even the terms. description is boring as fuck. Yeah. It's like, I don't know what any of this means. It seems bullshit. Like this is the best you uh. came up with your, your fucking book. So anyway, the book, by the way, cost 1895. Hmm. Like anybody would fucking... <laughs> Like, what the fuck? Uh, and so what is the first? He has a, a an event, the John for Solo Saga book signing. God, I wish we should have gone to this. this I wonder been. if the, the chick went that he was uh, hitting up. Yeah, yeah. So he messages the chick with oh, the fucking, know. with the sign, like with the link to his uh, event to John <laughs> for Solo. Like, come, come on, come. Hey, hey, babe, how about this? Come over, come down to the book signing. I'll sign you a free copy. And then I'll take you out for lunch, okay? We'll go out for lunch. Maybe I'll show you some dick pics. I'm Johnny fucking for solo. I'll just stay rep. I don't know if you know that, okay? I own the back called Rockies in Worcester. It was fucking all the rape. All the girls from Worcester State went there. They all went there. Everybody loves Johnny for solo, okay? They call me dick pic Johnny. Uh, and then he goes, you are beautiful. And then this is literally like three weeks ago. So beautiful. Might as well try again, okay? So the next one, um, uh, she's volunteered to, to uh, allow me to say this. These are to Leah Jindu, so these next ones. So Leah reaches out to me and says, there's this dude, John for solo and Leah and other women could testify this. Feel free girls. If it, if men are harassing you like this, like, I feel like it's not okay. I don't want to be like a white knight and all, but I feel like, 
um, you know, just after a while, when does it become sexual harassment? In his mind, never. Yeah. I, <laughs> you know. Well, I mean, actually, though, like, when does it? Like, if you're saying shit like, hey, come on, I just want you to suck my dick while you have your finger in my ass. Well, yeah, yeah that's sexual harassment. But if you're just doing this pathetic shit, hey, beautiful, yeah. hey, hey, yeah. hey. Kind of more. You're like, if you just keep, that's not, that's just annoying, I would think. But think about it. If you did, if you did that in person, if you saw a woman every day in person, you'll be, yo gorgeous, you look beautiful. Would that be harassment? No, it's annoying. I don't think it reaches the level of like a, a crime. Now, if you're sending out your fucking peck of broads on Facebook, then yeah. Or if you're telling them you just want to fuck them, then okay, I guess. But just being a pathetic loser, going hey, hey, hey. I don't think that's harassment. It's just annoying. It's, it's, it's yeah. like the old poke button on Facebook. No. Do they still have that on Facebook? Yeah. Poke button. Yeah, that, <laughs> poke. Just keep poking oh, God, them. Poke. <laughs> that's the creepiest yeah. thing ever on the in the history of internet stuff. Some <laughs> random person just go, hey. Poke. poke. It's like, poke. yeah, you creep. Get the fuck out of here. Send me yeah, a dick pic immediately. So anyway, uh, so <laughs> Lena sends me these messages that she's like, she goes, get, look, look at this guy Black sending lives, messages. Man. I'm like, as soon as I saw John for solo, I'm like, you got to be fucking kidding me. Because this other chick, I'm like, I asked her, go, can I write about it last year? She's like, I don't want to embarrass him. And as soon as I get the ones from Lee, I'm like, oh, this dude does this to everybody. He does. So I want to put it out there and see if other women come forward. And since then, three other women have come forward. It's literally the same shit. You're beautiful. You're gorgeous. <laughs> Let me take you out for lunch and coffee. Okay. Uh and he goes on to say, um, this is what he sends her, uh, beautiful, you are beautiful. So I tell her, I'm like, fuck with him a little bit, okay? And she's like, so you think so? I, she goes, you think so? He goes, absolutely. And I have great taste. The best taste. I don't even know that. The best taste. He's, uh, wait, he's Johnny. Wait, listen Rose. now. Yeah. After all this, he finally gets a three-word answer. You know he came. Right then, oh, he yeah. went. <laughs> He put the rest of them aside. He's like, oh, we're going Dude, right now. He, we're going he, to town. He glued his garanimals to his thigh as soon as he read those three words. He flat. Because this question she asked him, the question that she asked him, <laughs> you think so? Question mark. Like, that's a leading question. That's like a flirt with me kind of question. Like, you know, that made him hard, right? Like, that, no doubt about no, it. Like you said, came in his pants. No doubt about it. Okay. And he goes, uh, and then. Then she gave it away, though. She gave it away too early. I'm like, oh, you fucking gave it away. Now he's going to know. And she goes, do you think classy girls go to give knob jobs in the cemetery, too, asking for a friend? Tell your friend she is sadly mistaken. <laughs> okay. No worries here. I live a solid life, so don't worry about it. Take care of yourself, okay? You judge people. I'm glad you're better than others, okay? Again. You know, you know what he said whenever she got back to him was, fish on. <laughs> He was like, yeah. Oh, yeah. This one. Well, he wasn't liking it. You know, it just went limp real quick. Oh, <laughs> fuck. Oh, fuck. Lost that one. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So then then she says, uh, then my favorite, uh, how he says to her, stop messaging me. Dude, you're the guy that messages every chick nonstop. You're dick pic Johnny Fasolo. So what are you talking about? And so, yeah, that's, <laughs> Come that's kind John. of a big deal. Got a that, that's the story of John Fasolo. All right. Let's go on to the next topic, shall we? He he should have text message. Uh, Debbie does diabetes. Yeah, he should. If uh, if one of the fans, the one of the turtle riders, gets some creep in their inbox, if you actually send them a dick pic and show us the screenshots, you'll be my new favorite person. I think that'd be the best thing when one of these creeps starts going, "Hey, hey, oh, uh, let's go off a dollar menu." Yeah. <laughs> well, but hey, Brett, then for the girl to just send a dick pic. Yeah. What's that? What's your cell phone number? I'll What'd you say? I'll yeah, what's your cell phone number? Fuck, there it's you everywhere. Ask Kate. Fuck, it, she yeah. gave it to everyone. Send them in. Ah. Send them dicks. So ah. this is um, this is uh, let's go on to the next story out of upstate New York. I get sent this story by this guy named Justin. Okay, uh, I think I published this right before New Year's. I want to say, and so he goes. Let me just read this to you. It's a sad story. So let me just read it. Right, and I have mixed feelings about this one. My ex left me and took our son and won't let me see or talk to him. He married my ex-friend after only knowing him a month. She met him on October 18th, 2020. 
married him literally a month later. While we were still together, she was having sex with him. I've been going through it and I'm not used to reaching out, but I need to because it's eating me alive. I miss her and I feel like an idiot because I do, but she was my everything. I feel like less of a man and a loser. My heart and soul got ripped from my chest and nothing will ever be the same. I go through the motions every day, but I'm not really here. Nothing seems to matter. I don't smile or laugh anymore. I've been in a dark place since she left on November 1st, 2020. She was so cruel about it. Thanks for letting me rant. Here's the pics of the newlyweds and some emails and messages. She also fucked him three days after she met him on my birthday. She got out of prison yeah. and I had him in my house for dinner and bought him a bunch of clothes to help him get on his feet. Anyway, please make them famous. They're from Hilton, New York, near Rochester. She took everything, our savings and everything we owned. And it's crazy because I have a brain and lung disease on top of everything. Thanks, guys. So lots of lots of compress here, Brian. What are your thoughts on this immediately? First thoughts. Uh, first thoughts is a dude wrote this to who? He wrote this to you, right? Yes. Yeah, that's sad. Like, that's depressing. Not sad like in a horrible way, but I can't imagine – my life going to shit and I send a stranger this story just because I'm so desperate just to get some measure. I guess it would be what payback or whatever. Yeah. But you, how could you be a bigger pig? Your friend gets out of jail and then she fucking gives him the old fucking sausage sandwich on your birthday, yeah. no less. Yeah. I mean, That's it's, rough, it's, it's That's like rough. I read that. I'm like, this is a Ooh. sad, somewhat, I don't want to say pathetic because we all get low. But I would certainly wouldn't like share those thoughts with a stranger. Just I, I just wouldn't put it out there like that. No, yeah, I can't. Yeah, you know, but like you know, I, I would recommend like first of all, you know, you let the fucking fox in the hen house kind of like you brought your fucking ex con buddy who just got out of jail over your house, and now you're surprised that he's fucking your girl. Like obviously he's got no morals, right? The guy that you brought over. And, uh, you know, there is a kid involved here, too. He's just uh, got out of prison. Yeah, his buddy did. His buddy just got out of prison. Yeah, yeah. that's what I'm saying. It's uh, You can't blame him. That's This is 100% on your girl. That guy's no, just no, getting out of jail. He's going to fuck anything that moves. Yeah. And by the way, thank you to Heidi Christopher. Don't know there. She says, ending a 90-hour week at 11 p.m. I need some endorphins uh, to let me hear the freestyle. Aid. No, yeah, well, you're going to hear it. Trust me. It's going to be going. I promise. So, anyway... Here's the emails that they sent back and forth. Now, his emails are like, his son, of course, is named Aiden the wrong way, but we'll forgive him for that. <laughs> and she's like, can you tell Aiden that I love him and I miss him? Like, these are sad to read. Like, how's his pictures? Please tell him that he misses him. Can't wait to talk to him and see him. Thank you. Hello, Amanda. Can I speak with Aiden? I would like to know how he's doing. I have a new number, so please let me know. Merry Christmas. And this is what she writes back. This is what you're writing. Hey. Call me right oh. now so you can hear me suck my husband's cock. Feel free to FaceTime me if you're into that, and you can see how I got pregnant with his kid. <laughs> oh, blooded. That is so vile. I love her. You mm. love her? Dude, that's like fucking. That's wow. awesome. if you'd look. Like just that's some soul it. destroying shit. Yeah, like you already know you're that trying the guy's to break his like, soul. Like you took everything from him. You took fucking his child, his happiness. You know that this guy is hurting. This is a guy that you loved at one point because you fucking married him. And then you just like, you know what? I'm gonna you see after getting an email like that, like I miss my son. I miss my son. Like, oh, oh, I have an idea. Why don't you call me right now and you watch. can watch me face fuck your friend to death? You can okay? watch me swallow his sons. Oh. Yes, exactly. <laughs> watch oh. this. Like, holy shit. Wow. Hold my beer. Hold my beer. So it gets worse. It gets yeah. worse. Yeah. And he goes, she goes, we'll make, a real thing. we'll make a real thing out of this. We'll have a ball. I finally have a big dick. So I'm learning how to deep flex. That is brisk, son. That is brisk This is shit. my new favorite person. This is like the most fucking evil bitch I've ever seen in my life. Uh, the uh, sister so I never goes, had. Oh, she got she got more. <laughs> so she goes, oh, dude, you have multiple <laughs> mental hygiene arrests. Mental hygiene arrests are basically like when you're PC'd for your own good because you're suicidal or you have mental problems, right? 
and considered mentally unstable by multiple doctors. You have no wins. Now, if this is true, this is the case, right? Then, like, he's sick. He needs help. And what are you doing? You're telling him, come over here and watch me take a face frosting, okay? Like, from your buddy. Yes. From your buddy. <laughs> it's a idea, okay? It is completely up to me uh. when or if you ever get to see Aiden. As of today, Bobby, who is the new dad, is signing the paperwork the to adopt dick guy. Aiden. Yeah, the big dick guy. In a few weeks, no, when we dick. receive it, we will send you a copy. It'll be the last time you ever hear from us. Enjoy your life. Merry Christmas. Okay. So this ah. issue is right there. Tattoos and everything. Need I say more? And um, these are the actual documents. Now, I will say this. This guy obviously um, isn't the most sympathetic character in the world. So here's his rap sheet. He's been to jail before, too. Not recently or anything like that. Before the kid was born, the kid's like five or six years old. Okay. Um, he has mental health problems. He's contemplated suicide before. And she knows this, which makes her even more evil, in my opinion. He's unemployed. <laughs> so why don't you watch me suck this and, dick? <laughs> you know, she was the primary breadwinner. Okay. So, like, when it came to financial things, like, she always had the upper hand. But, like, to, like, use that against him, like, whatever. Like, the part – and so this guy, the first thing I, when I get this, I'm like, the first thing I do is I ask the dude, I'm like, um, why would you ever sign custody agreements in which you don't get any custody and then complain when you don't get to see your kid? Like you signed court documents here that I, I read them all over that literally say, you know, um, basically, uh, you don't get the kid at all. Like she can do whatever the fuck she wants. And so he blames it on the brain yeah. and the lung disease no. and his whole story about needing insurance and SSI. That was a little bit confusing. She actually said the same thing. He never got a lawyer, by the way, he got divorced and just didn't get an attorney because he's got no money. He's got no money. He's broke. He's living with his fucking brother. Now. Um, he's like, I was in love. She was the person who cared about me. My family never did. So when someone comes into your life and cares about you like she did and shows you love, I mean, I, I can't help but feel bad for the guy. I think he has no, he's got no support system. He has no fucking clue what he's talking about. He's got a, a you know, a background, whatever. But like, I feel like he loves his kid. No. Well, yeah, of course he, he loves his it. kid, but. But not everybody you does. You did something to her, man. You you, you did so? something. No broad goes from I love you. To why don't you fucking FaceTime this dick going in my mouth? No, I think that did. doesn't happen. There's some, right, you there's know what? some incident. Well, you've seen my conversation with her, no? You've seen my conversation. No, it, yeah, yeah. In, she does like I asked her multiple times. I'm like, what did he do? Like, because I wanted to hear her side of the story. We'll get to that in a moment. Let's talk about All the right, new dad. Ahead. Okay. This is the new dad. This is Bobby. Okay. Look at the chin strap, enough said, the gold chain with mm -hmm. Jesus. The Jesus gold chain. That's normal. He oh was, he just God. got out of jail for assaulting a 16 year old relative, assaulting a kid, putting hands on a 16 year old oh. child, endangering the welfare of a child. Okay. So he went to jail from that. He's also been to jail a couple other times. Deputies say Bobby Singer Silbernagel, who was living at the budget inn, enough said, was arrested on child endangerment charges. Um, he, he's also been arrested for, uh, Pled, pled not guilty to charges of second degree burglary, fourth degree larceny, both felonies, not guilty to a, a charge of third degree unauthorized use of a motor vehicle. Um, the two are accused. So he basically stole a bunch of shit from a home. And then there was also an armed robbery charge, I believe. At a, um, let's see. Uh, Silbernagel was sentenced to five years in state prison after pleading guilty to the armed robbery of a Geneva liquor store in December 2009. So he went to jail for five years for armed robbery of a liquor store. And then this is the, uh, now this is Justin's kid. The one that she took with him. And look what they've already Who's done. This? Look what they've done to this child. Okay. He's already, his life That's is little Aiden. Hard. What? That's little Aiden. That's little Aiden right there. That's little Aiden. Aiden. Yeah, yeah. This is what they've done. Like you are training your child to be on Turtle Boy Sports. Okay. Flat brim oh. tat, bottle of vodka, chain, signs, random fucking rings mm -hmm. on your fingers okay shorts that go down to the floor and this chick is likes that it. the same horrible chain that is fucking that guy yeah, had yeah. on yeah that's his chain. Is that the same, same medallion yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> this is what she oh, says Sharon to her swag. 
she goes to him in the message. She goes, I've moved on and finally happily. Aiden is finally happy and living like a kid is supposed to. Happy and loved. He even calls him dad and asked if he could be all on his own. One day, you'll just be a distant memory and he'll be better off for it. Plus, the dick makes me drool if you're wondering. Like, she always has to throw that in there. Like, I love <laughs> I can't get enough of his fucking cock. Like, that's all this is about. He that reminds me of the Chappelle show with um, only your mama can call me daddy. <laughs> exactly. Uh, it, you know, it's just this point, like, she's evil. Like, she's just been like, I'm fucking sucking all the. And, Brett, I feel like I know you said before that you think you did something to her. I just think that, like, she's evil. Like, some bitches are just evil. And I think that, like, she's resents him for the fact that she was the primary breadwinner. This guy probably didn't work much. You know, probably slept like, like she's probably frustrated with him, and you know, <laughs> was just like, "Yo, these voicemails." Uh, uh, oh, never mind. Yeah. Hey, mommy, daddy, want to ask you a few questions? All right. Do you miss Justin at all? Mm-hmm. Do you want to see Justin at all? Mm-hmm. I want to smack him. Why do you Why do you want to smack him? I want to smack him. He's a bad person. Why is that? Because he needs to get fired out because he's not my dad anymore. Is it, is it, can you tell me why he's not? Because. Is it because he used to be mean to you and yell at you all the time? And, and not to, and not let me wear my cool shoes oh, and play sake. my toys. Oh, for fuck's sake. And not and watch TV and not play TV in my room. And not like my dad. Did he spend time with you? No. He never spent so time out right there. Coaching they, yeah, they're obviously coaching him up. You, like you hear the mother in the background. Any mother who would ever participate in a stunt like this is fucking trash. Fucking trash. If you've ever, like you have a child, you're like, you know what I'm going to do with this five-year-old kid? I'm going to get him to leave. Like, first of all, you're around a fucking dangerous felon you're bringing your child you're having him call this new fucking person dad you're a fucking cum guzzling fucking trash bag brett stop defending this fucking whore she's a fucking cunt i don't give a fuck what this fucking guy did to her okay this chick is fucking trash and what she's doing to this kid is fucking evil fuck her fuck her fuck her okay this one really pissed me. Can you tell him fired up about this? I didn't. When did I defend her? You psycho. Yeah, you said that you you were like, oh, I bet. I, you know, I, I, her. I, love her. I said maybe he did something. Oh, I just love the savagery. I think oh, that's fucking amazing that that came out yeah. of a woman's mouth. That is, that is pretty sad. And then you add, oh, and I finally have a guy with a man-sized cock. Merry yeah. Christmas. That's yes, savage, man. I just, yeah. <laughs> yeah. man-sized cock. <laughs> Uh, oh, it looks like, yeah. it's like a dick only smaller. Yeah. So anyway, uh, I love how they've taught the kid to be like, uh, so what did you like about him? And all his grievances are like, he doesn't let me have a TV in my room. All this bitch, you're five. You're not supposed to have a TV in your room. What the fuck are you talking about? He doesn't let me wear my cool shoes. These are things that like, I guarantee the mutt, like the new dad is like, yo kid, you can have a TV in your room in my apartment. And you can have whatever. I'm going to get you new Jordans. We're going to make you bling. And this is what this kid is now learning to value. It goes on. At any time with you at all? No, but he made made one. So he never liked to spend any time with you? Yeah. He only wanted to play video games? Yeah. And then he broke and smashed your guitar? Yeah. And wouldn't let you open up Christmas presents until like 2 o'clock at night, right? Because he had to sleep? Did he hurt your feelings? Yeah. He used to be mean to you? Yeah. These are all leading he questions. To, like, he, he used to punch me really hard and he used to stick me with the belt very hard when I was two. Stop right there. He used to punch me really hard and spank me with the belt when I was two. I'm sorry. You're five. This kid's five. My daughter's five. She doesn't remember anything when she was two. I like remind her of shit. Like, do you remember this shit? Like, what? Like, she doesn't remember anything from being two. Nobody remembers when they were two. It's not a thing. This kid has been told, like, you, here's the script, kid. Your daddy beat you with the belt when he was two. The new daddy doesn't do that, though. He's good. Just don't Google him because it ain't going to be so good then. Go on. Still Thank Google. you with the belt very hard. <laughs> yeah. And he used to yell and scream at mommy and threaten to hit her. Yeah. Like he was going to hurt her. 
Hold on, just answer the questions, buddy. Mom, you got anything you want to ask your son? Are you happy? Are you, no, are you, are you happy, happy right with mommy? You hear that? He goes, no. Do you, do you love daddy? He screwed up. Wrong answer, Does daddy kid. play with you? Yeah. Does he spend lots of time with you? Yeah. Does he play with all your toys with you? Yeah. And do we do we sit and watch TV together as a family and watch cool kids movies with you and mommy? Yes. All the time, don't we? Yeah. We eat dinner together every night, don't we? Yeah. And then me and mommy put you to bed together? What the fuck is wrong with people? Yeah. The most yeah. telling part was the uh, just answer the question. Yeah. Just answer the question, kid. Yeah. And you, you. Up here. Yeah. And you're doing great in school. And you're even behaving much better than before? Yes. Because Justin's not here anymore. I just want to pick his butt with a blue belt. This so is fine. Do you want to see him again? Nope. Are you sure? I am sure. But I just want to smack him. Okay. I love you, buddy. Like, That's imagine that, like if your kid says about another child, like, I just want to smack him. I'd be like, oh, no, son. A normal person's like, no, we don't smack people in this house. That's not a thing five year olds are supposed to say. Instead, this fucking kid is being rewarded for just being a disrespectful piece of shit. And I'm supposed to, like, what a, I, my, the level of contempt I have for this fucking whore of a mother. That's what she is, Brett. Like, literally, like, the definition. You're bragging about how much, you can't fucking go, send an email without mentioning how much you're enjoying cum right now. You can't do it. It's literally impossible for you to do. Okay? Uh, so, anyway. All Where's right, I people? take it back. I hate her now. I changed okay, my mind. Good. Okay, good. Thank you, sir. Now we're getting somewhere. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, uh, they go on to say, right, th these are my emails with this chick. We're going to call her in a moment. She goes, uh, I'm like, she goes, um, I have multiple reports. I have an order of protection, no harassment order, and now another uh, order. He's had multiple arrests and multiple hygiene arrests. I've sold legal custody, blah, blah, blah. Okay. And sends me shit, and it's really just not much. Like, it's just messages from third parties, nothing from him. I'm like, do you have any evidence to back any of this stuff? I'm like, where did he threaten to kidnap you and your son? I'm like, do you have screenshots of those? Because this guy brought evidence. You know, he's got emails, receipts. You're like, oh, it happened on the phone. Oh, okay, well, that's convenient. And I'm like, I noticed your husband has an extensive criminal history. And she's like, um, I noticed she doesn't address it. She, and then he goes, no, Justin has an extensive criminal history and mental health. My husband is a wonderful father to my son. Bitch, your husband is a stranger to your son. Your husband literally just met your fucking son. Okay. Oh, he plays with him, Brett, in, in turn. He plays with him. And, so obviously, and with all the toys. Yeah, he buys him toys, lets him watch TV. Yeah. He fucking and loves don't they watch him. cool kids' movies together? Yeah, I mean, they're basically fucking, this is the new dad. They've known each other forever, all of a month, you know? He's banging mom now, you know? M Mom's in there telling the son, like, oh, son, your new dad has the best dick. I fucking, I can't get enough of it, baby. You I should just, see the dick on your new daddy. Yeah, baby, your laugh daddy, like your real daddy, his dick wasn't cutting it. You don't understand. Like, it was, hey, next, next time he's in the shower, make sure you barge in on him. Yeah, like it made you. His dick was good enough to make you, but like, I need a lot of dick. I need like a big fat fucking dick. I mean, look at me. Look at me. Do I look like the kind of mom that wants like just a small dick or like an average dick? No, 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 no. I need prison dick. I need like I've been locked up for yeah. five years kind of dick. You know what I mean? Yeah. She so, needs to sing it from the hills. Hey, son. Yeah. Oh. Hey, son. Here's, here's a new magic trick. Watch how mommy can make a banana disappear. Just Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh yes, oh yes. Uh, yeah, she, <laughs> she eats. She eats her corn the long way. Yeah. So she goes on to say, "I worked three uh. jobs for a house and planned how to leave for years." I don't doubt any of this. Again, if you want to leave him, then leave him. Don't you don't need to run off with his fucking buddy and send him emails like this. Like he gave me sole custody. Even yeah, even if you do run off with his buddy, even if you do all that other shit, the, the I want to crush your spirit emails is the the worst part. Yeah, like what is like what that. is the oh, by the way, Skype in and you can see me take one in the fucking fat box from a real man. Like that's <laughs> just real Happy New Year. Happy <laughs> you know? New Year. <laughs> no, that's fucking, yeah. That is brisk as fuck, son. 
Hey, she might as well just send him an email saying, like, would you like to celebrate the new year by watching me take a dick in my ass? Like, that's essentially she what should she should have sent him the dick pic with her next to it, like they do at Taurus pictures where the girl's like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's I think what she like, should have done. She might as well have just sent him a thing, like, and guess what? After I'm done with him, then I'm banging John for solo. Then we're then it's gonna be a party. Like we're gonna, we're gonna even let it get, he even gets to tag in. You know, the, after this blog, John Frasola is probably gonna be sending her pictures anyway. You look gorgeous, girl. How so many, gorgeous. How yeah. so many yeah, comes to verify too? Yeah, yeah, she's a prime recruit for the house of many comes. So he goes on to say, um, that's fine. I stooped Justin isn't an idiot, blah blah blah. Uh and the physical and mental abuse threatening to kill me and it's like Okay, none of this. I, she has got no evidence of any of this. So, and I'm like, but he, and she's shooting on him a little bit more. Uh, we didn't abandon him. Uh, even if I'd left him earlier on, I would have been financially responsible, blah, blah, blah. I was standing right there when the voice, because uh, I'm like, what's up with the voicemail? I was standing right there when the voicemail was made. My son is terrified of his father. I'll admit I stooped to his level with the voicemail. But I, so basically, like I'm a good person, but I stooped it. I only did that voicemail because I wanted to get in his level. Bitch, you don't do that ever. Like, there's no fucking excuse for that ever. Those voicemails are unforgivable. Okay, um, no. Blah, and maybe, blah, blah. maybe if he hadn't sent the other ones though, that oh well, I know, but I stooped to his level. His level wasn't that. Watch me take these dicks. Yeah, like exactly. you already set the bar so low for her level. And then you, oh, well, yeah, so what? I made the kid talk shit, too. Like, it's not a big deal. Oh, he made me do that. Yeah. You know? So, I think you're yeah. all fucking insane. All he is. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and that kid's doomed. Yeah. That kid would have Gucci. better luck at the King Peter revolving door of home care than with these two motherfuckers. <laughs> Little so, MC8 is uh, fucked. Yeah. Uh, so this is what uh, <laughs> MC8 <laughs> So I mean, this kid's fucked. This poor kid lost in all this is that this kid is completely fucked. Um, she goes, it was, she goes, it was his choice, the kid's choice, to call Bobby dad. No, it wasn't. No, it fucking wasn't his choice. That's completely shit. She called another kid dad for five years, and then all of a sudden it's like, yo, I'm I'm gonna go ahead and call this guy dad. And I'm gonna call dad Justin. Right, sure, whatever. Uh blah blah blah. Listen to the shit I've been through, emotional trauma. Oh, shut the fuck up. Eat a dick and shut the fuck up. Uh, my son loves Bobby. Yes, he is. He is. He's finally learning how to do it. My, my son loves Bobby. Bitch, no, he doesn't. So anyway, that's that. And let me show you. I posted on uh, Facebook the other day the messages that this whore uh, went ahead and uh, sent me after the blog was written. Shall we look at them? Or is that a stupid question? Yeah. Okay. Oh, Ooh, yeah, so that's dumb. Cool. And we're going to call her, right? Yeah, of or course. Or at least we'll try to. Her. What kind of stupid question is that? But she seems nice. She's very nice. Yes. I want to talk to her. Okay. Yes, you do. I'm gonna ask her how that. Okay. I want. Here we go. <laughs> so, um, I have I have already contacted the police. You need to take down the article slandering me. Either that, or you will be hit with a civil suit. I never gave you permission to use my husband, um, or my son's name. Nor did I give you permission to use our pictures or my son's birthday. The only thing you've created is third-party violation on Justin's order and more harassment towards my family. So take down the article or I will see you in court. And to show you this is not a game, I will gladly send a picture of the police report once the officer is done. Again, Brad, this is what you brought up last week. Why is this the new thing? Like, I'm going to the cops. <laughs> I'm on my way as we speak. Yeah. That's well, everyone thinks way. that that's going to make you go, oh, I'm so sorry. Let me erase the, erase the blog. I'll take it down. I didn't know you were yeah. serious. Exactly. Like, uh, and, and so, yeah, like you're going to well, go. And why do they think you need permission for this shit, though? That's my I favorite. Like, you permission to use the name. Oh, what the fuck? You know, Donald, Donald Trump should have used this. Oh. He should have told CNN. I didn't give you permission to talk about me on CNN. Did you not know? It's like, oh, I need your fucking permission to write a. Oh, I, I apologize. To put your public. <laughs> Up there, but like that, you posted you and your fucking idiot, fucking new dick husband, whatever. Um, so I'm gonna be here with the civil suit. Bring it on, bitch. You like, you're not the first to do this. You obviously don't know me, okay? You obviously don't know what Turtle Boy is all about. If you did, you would know better than that. So 
let me bring up the second half. No, yeah, this. she's new here. Yeah, let me bring up the second half of this message because it gets better. I didn't give you permission to use my picture that I posted on a public social media yeah. site. I'm like, going I to the police. I didn't give you permission to use my emails about me talking about how much I like to deep throw my fucking ex-con <laughs> new husband of the week. Yeah, fuck you. Then uh, she goes, I will be showing you a message <laughs> to the officer. Have a great night. Uh-oh. And, like, and then so I when, this is my new thing I'm doing with these people. If you tell me I'm going to the cops, that you're going to the cops on me, I'm telling them that I'm going to the cops on you. And by the way, are we? Let's not. I'm getting messages from people. I don't know what's going on in the chat. Let's not block anybody, mods. I don't block anybody. No, yeah, know. um, it's is there the a, usual. Oh god, it's the usual shit. bullshit with the attacks on you. Yeah, the troll shit. The fucking the fourth and fifth stringer of the oh, fucking like, mad hose report. It's that shit oh, again. Oh, those people I don't give a shit about. But turtle Riders. Yeah, no, the mods are taking care of it. But okay. yeah, I don't want no white Turtle people Riders are messaging me, show. and they're saying that they're banned. I don't fucking know. Let's just not no banning turtle riders. How about that? <clears throat> you want to ban the fucking masshole freaks? That's fine. Okay. Uh, but the turtle riders, let's keep turtle riders on, even if turtle riders disagree. Okay, nobody blocked anyone, so we're good. Okay, no problem. Yeah, no, we're good. All right. Just wanted to put that out there. So it goes on to say, um, so from now on, I'm just telling them I'm calling the cops on you. So how do you like that? That's what I'm doing. For, I'm like, I'm, I go, I've, I've, not, I've retained attorney Richard N. Volva. You'll be hearing, uh, you may have heard of him. He will be filing a motion of the ocean. <laughs> Come on, that, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Right there. Motion of the ocean. Uh, and he doesn't even know what to say. That is good. <laughs> He's like, well, I've never harassed you, but okay. <laughs> like I said, I've contacted the police and that's all. You'll be forced to take down the article. I love the confidence. With you. You'll be forced to take it down. Bitch, let's make a bet right now. I bet you it never comes down. I bet you, how about that? So we're gonna go ahead and, and we're gonna call Amanda Silbernagel. Let's find her. Amanda. <laughs> I file a motion in the ocean. <laughs> Richard N. Volvo must be a millionaire by now. He's had so you. many different lawsuits. <laughs> okay, we're calling her right now. I did not want you to make it public that I love Big Dick. How dare oh, it's ringing, it's ringing, it's ringing. Everybody be nice. I'm going to hide away. You, Jay Cuck. I said be nice and rude. Fuck. Come on. Come on, baby. Oh, uh, one more time, one more time. She's probably choking on a dick. Miss Choke's on dick. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's Choke. <laughs> it is 10 15. <laughs> he said, Ooh, I love this big dick. Okay. Happy birthday. Okay. So that's, uh, well, you know what? Why don't I give her a call? I, I looked her up on Google. I got a phone number. Let me give her a call. I think this this might that's be a number. Right. I don't know. Let's give me give her. Let's see what she's got. Let's see. Maybe let's try this number. You should see the way he fucks me. Happy Thanksgiving. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Enjoy your turkey, <laughs> bone. Fuck's sake. That is so fucking rude. <laughs> if you want to Skype in and watch me take one in the shitter, feel and free. You're going to take me in the fire box. <laughs> All right, let me pull this up. Give me one second. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Oh, yeah. I've been blunking in a while. Black Lives Matter. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Let me pull this up one more time. I, I'll get it right. Give me one sec. I'll pull it up. Give me this number. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Try this. Oh. Okay. He blew up. That okay. big cock exploded okay. all over my tits right in front of your son. Oh, here Happy we go. Happy Easter. What? <laughs> it's ringing. Oh, it's still <laughs> Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. Tell her she's live. I know, Diane. You always warn me about that. Thank you. Sometimes I forget, but I usually tell them tell eventually. Tell her we got some big old dicks for. Automated voice messaging system. 
Amanda. Oh. Is not available. Easy message. What should I say? At the tone, please record your message. When you finish, hang up or press one for more options. To send a call, press four now. To leave a callback number, press five. Yes, this message is for Amanda. This is attorney Richard N. Volva. Uh, I, I need your address so I can serve you with the proper paperwork here. Uh, I will be filing a motion of the ocean uh, in a federal court on Monday. So you'll need to be served with that. So I'll need to know how we can reach you for this. Uh, if we can uh, work out some type of settlement beforehand. I don't want to call the police, uh, but I will uh, if I have to. Uh, just know this, that um, I, I heard you're into big dick. And uh, if you are, um, I may or uh, they don't call me Dick and Volver for nothing. So give me a call back when you got this and maybe we can work something out. Okay. Talk to you later. Bye. Okay. So we'll see what she says. Okay. No answer. <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> we'll see. Now I'm going to get sued in New York and this is going to be fun. Okay, great. All right. Let's go on to the next one, shall we? Oh <laughs> it's, it's, it's not often that you have Brett completely pause himself or mute yeah. himself. All right, let's go on to the next topic. Dude, the oh. motion of the ocean thing oh, kills me. Is this bulb out already? Oh, there we oh. go. Okay. There we go. Okay. Let's go on to um, um, let's talk about the Porsche or Porsche Pirate. Because this is another one we got here. Oh, fuck me. Oh, all right. Straighten up. Okay, let's pull it up. <laughs> That's fucking great. I still like the dicks thing. Fucking with the, they're like, oh, today I learned how to fucking. You shot it right on my tonsils. It was fucking great. I threw oh, up. It was great, no, was Happy just, Kwanzaa. That was the that was the first. Like time it, every holiday is a different dick story. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Okay, okay. Here you we go. fucking cream pied me fucking at lunchtime today. Happy <laughs> no, dude, I'm just gonna send it that. Like, oh man, <laughs> oh, I, had, I had ten minutes off for a break. I was so hungry, so I just ate a big fat dick. Oh, it was so good. Yeah, okay. imagine what she tells me with huge the, uh, cock. <laughs> huge one. Happy Columbus Day. Yeah, happy Columbus Day. <laughs> 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 happy so Indigenous this. People Day. I got fucked in the <laughs> ass. Your kid hates you. Bye. Oh man. Well, again, your kid hates you. Bye. Your hates you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm making you. I'm making your son watch me get fucked so he can learn how a oh. real man. Okay. Anyway, let's go on to the next topic. This is Michelle. <laughs> Bedard. Stop it. Stop it. Okay. This is Michelle Bedard. She's lived fucking everywhere in the North Shore because you know she basically gets kicked out everywhere that she lived, um, and. She there she is right there, and uh, yeah. So anyway, uh, she gets called out in, no, in a local yard sale page that I get kind of tagged in, and um, people are like if you've been burned by this lady, had your stuff stolen, um, post it in the screenshots, okay? And they, there they are. So I see no evidence, and then I see this fucking video that this chick Leah Nyland posts on there. She says I arranged to sell a brand new jacket on Facebook Marketplace to Michelle Bedard of Salem. And caught this upstanding citizen straight up, sneak up to my house, steal the jacket, and run away to the get-up car. I really hate people. Here's the video. Let's play it. So you saw that little booger run away, right? Get in the car. <laughs> just sitting there, okay? They win. Oh, they have the light on and everything inside the car. They're yeah. just like looking at the steel. They're crap. Hey, yeah, here. like they're, they're no no rush to get out of there. Uh, and the fact that you ran, like you can't actually see the package, but the fact that you ran away like that and you're giggling and shit, that to me tells me you're fucking guilty. Why the fuck else would you run like that, etc. Now yeah. a lot of people are like, well, what the fuck? Why would you ever trust somebody like that? You've obviously never participated in this. Like, this is very common on Facebook Marketplace. Like, you 90, believe it or not, most people in the world are not ratchets. Yeah. And if you like, if you leave shit out there, like my neighbors sell firewood, they don't sit out there and like sell it, they just have it lift there. 
there's a fucking box. You put ten dollars in it if you want it, and you just take the firewood. It's kind of like the honor system. You know what I mean? Like that, yeah, that's, that's all over the place. Honor. Yeah, it's not that big. Up of a here thing. they do it at the the farm side places. Like some farm will just have a like a booth, and you buy corn, all that bullshit, and just put the money in the little box. Yeah, no one's out there like patrolling it or nothing. Right. So, uh, the, you know, to me, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, so she goes on to say, um, she didn't, other people are like, she didn't pay me for a North Face jacket. I reported the admins. She's been doing this to fucking everybody. Like she stole my daughter's North Face. She's really in a North Face jackets. Okay. I reported it to the police. Yeah, just coax. Yeah. Yeah. She wants North Face shit like all the time. The sellers beware. She's a thief. She stole all the shit. Other bitches are like, I took her to court for uh, money. She never paid. I paid $300. For a capious warrant, they brought her in. She never paid. And I've been there before. I've won in small claims uh, court before. And, uh, you know, it, it doesn't, you know, work out like that. Like, it's not that big of – like, you, you, if you win in small claims, how it works is most of the time their deadbeats are not going to pay you. So you got to get a capious. And the sheriff's got to go and basically get it from them. And if you keep – pressing the issue you can get them thrown in jail if they don't fucking pay it and eventually they'll pay it but it's just such a pain in the ass you know what i mean to get these people to pay you the fucking money yeah. they owe you can so, can you trade food stamps for that uh mm -hmm. that judgment i don't know but you know she's on it so um so it's basically here, here's like peep here's like some actual screenshots like they have all the evidence of it okay and then she's like i absolutely left the money under the corner of her mat i have a ring camera as well so know a lot about them and if she has one, it will show, it will in fact show that I left the money under the mat. Uh, but it doesn't. So here we are. So anyway, yeah. this book has gotten arrested before in 2016. Uh, when she was living, a 30 year old Everett woman, she's fucking 30 somehow, was arrested for a hit and run. Uh, and after allegedly striking a pedestrian and driving off, she was arrested June 26th on the charges of driving with a suspended license and fleeing the scene of personal injury. According to the report, Several witnesses saw her strike a pedestrian with her car and drive away. When questioned, she <laughs> said she had just gotten off the phone with 911, but her phone history reportedly showed no calls had been made. <laughs> like, she doesn't think they're going to look into that. But Dodd later told the police the man walked into her car and had booze on him. <laughs> so she blames the victim. Like, yo, he, he walked in. I didn't hit him. He walked into my car. Okay. She told police. He was walking on the passenger side of a car and tumbled over the hood. Police did not observe any damage to the passenger side, but found two large dents on the driver's side and said the windshield had shattered on the lower driver's side. The car was also missing its driver's side rear hubcap. After looking at Bedard's <laughs> registration, it was found her license had been revoked and it was non-renewable. A family member took her child into custody before her arrest. So, of course, she had her fucking kids on her, all this shit. You look her up on masscourts.org. She's been... In court for fucking like every court in North Shore, she's got dockets on. Okay, you name it. Small claims. Um, what else we got here? We got um, you know, people just looking for it's always a default judgment, by the way. She never fucking shows up, so she never has to defend herself. Yeah. These are reasons. like N Star has her, everybody's got it. Like they've they've reported <laughs> shit, like literally fear is nothing. But this is Massachusetts, so everything's fucking paid for by the taxpayers, um, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. All you have to say is that I didn't know I couldn't do that. Hmm. Good point. Um, so anyway, <laughs> there was a little bit of justice with this, okay? Because I'm going to show you. Let me show you the update on this. All right. Let me show you an update real quick. <laughs> I want to pull it up. Yeah. So this happened uh, a couple days ago. A bunch of people sent me this. You guys see this? <laughs> Literally uh, <laughs> like a day or two after the blog. Uh, it says police stopped the vehicle on a routine traffic stop at 955 in the vicinity of Ocean Ave in Salem and arrested the dr driver, Michelle Debedard, 35, of 53 Ocean Ave, apartment 3, Salem. She's charged with operating a motor vehicle on a suspended license while using a Class D substance. What's Class D? I always forget my shit. What's no. Class D? Class, what's weed. class D, mass substance. He answered that way too quick. It's like, Wade, Wade, I always. I don't know. I never got arrested right. for drug shit. So I have no fucking idea. There, there you go. It is? See? Marijuana. Look yep. at you, little. You little the good one. Drug. I always forget the good one. Um, <laughs> the good one is. Class the interns are always high. Remember that. 
Yeah, the good one is class B. That's the fun one. That's cocaine, crack, LSD, oxycodone, oxycotton, ecstasy, amphetamine, or methamphetamine. I forget which one's heroin, if that's class A Ooh. or C. Uh, but yeah, those are the fun ones. D is the boring one. So she was just smoking pot, driving around, not giving a fuck, et cetera. Uh, and she got arrested. Karma, bitch. Literally, that's not... Do you think that's a fucking coincidence, Brett? No. No, I don't think it is either. It's like this bitch, they could have got this bitch whenever they want. But I'm sure the Salem police read Turtle Boy. They see it out there. They run the plates like, oh, we're getting this bitch. She just did that whole fucking scam with these assholes. And uh, I mean, it, it is a crime what she's doing. And have fun in jail, bitch. Enjoy your... But she guaranteed, the second somebody like this gets out of jail, she's going to be up to her shenanigans again. Because that's just what people like. Oh, absolutely. Doing. Yeah. Yeah. 35, right, I would have guessed the way older. Yeah. yeah. That's as you say, that's a hard 35. He's 68 in Turtle Boy years. Like, there's, there's your years and then there's Turtle Boy years. She's like a hard 68. Okay, let's go on to the last, the last story here before we do the freestyle. Uh, and that is the Spanky Spectrum gets caught by Rhode Island pedo poachers. More fucking pedo poachers. How many of these fucking... More of this shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know Brett hates these people. He hates them. Uh, it's, I, I don't hate them, and I like when they catch people and those people actually get arrested and stuff. I just I don't want to hear the crying when the, the inevitable happens. One of these assholes gets lit up by one of these fucking creeps. Everyone's going to go, oh, my God, and blah, blah, blah. Well, you're fucking with creeps. One of, Eventually, one of these creeps is going to have a weapon, right? Don't you think? <laughs> Yeah, like, and that's what I was saying when I was watching this. Like, obviously, I don't feel bad for the pedos, but just like this, on we'll listen to the tape together and we'll reach the conclusion. So, this guy's name right. is um, Scott Lasnier. He's from Warwick. There he goes. And uh, does he oh, jump oh, out oh, of trees? Oh, oh, oh. Is he special? There we go. We're about to get a hate crime for this one, Jack. But do I mean, we have a video like, of him saying, and I do not have Down syndrome like the other one, so we can have a disclaimer before we stop making jokes? Oh, man. I don't know, man. I don't Remember? know. Remember? And I do not have Down syndrome. That, who is that? MC Spectrum? <laughs> yeah. That, yep. IEP Diddy or whatever the fuck y'all called him. I think I Dave the Druid called him Asperger's Rocky. <laughs> he told him he should start a band called Syndrome of a Downs. <laughs> Stop it! Stop it! Oh my god! Okay, okay, stop it! Okay. So anyway, this guy's like, "Yo, hashtag on my n words roll all this shit." So let's watch this guy oh, get. Come on! Come on. A lot of cuddling stuff. These are the pictures he sent. So they're going to go meet him. There's this plate. This is how they get him. Okay. He thinks he's messaging a 13 year old. Mm. And they're talking about sleepovers, thinking about seeing you in a thong. Big fan of thongs, this guy. And this is how they get it. I go, I'm walking over. A, the, the, the decoy says, okay, walk. And I drop by my house. Um, I, I drop my keys. And she goes, I might need help finding it. I'll help, you know, okay, I'll help you when you get to me. And so now he's, this is the first time he's meeting her. And he thinks the 13-year-old is looking for keys. Uh, newsflash, 13-year-olds don't have keys because they can't drive cars. Okay, that should have been your first warning that you're talking to an adult. And so, but there, you know, Brett, your thing with the pedal poachers is you don't like the whole, like, uh, the live, the it's weird that they pretend to be kids or whatever. And other people have said, you know, yeah. accuse them of like using children as bait. They're not. They're using Chris Hansen did this too. He used like adults as bait. The difference between Chris Hansen and pedal poachers is personally, first of all, like the professionalness of it all. But millions Chris, of dollars. Chris Hansen always had the fucking cops in the garage. Police. Yeah, yeah. all that shit. That's an actual police uh operation. Versus yeah. these are just fucking assholes at two in the morning on Yahoo chat or whatever the fuck they use. TikTok are pretending to be 13 year old little girls to creeps. That's yeah. Dude, there's something I'm telling you that just what 
there's something happened to you, yeah. which I'm not saying anything bad about, but it's just creepy to me. To yeah. on your own, you you're affiliated with no law enforcement, nothing like that. Just your hobby is recording yourself acting like a little kid and catching people and trying right. to scare them and making them sing songs, all kind of shit. Yeah, so let's watch what happens here. <laughs> How's it going, Mr. Good, how are you? I'm good, what you doing? We're going to read this guy's black, right? Yes, 100%. Okay. Yeah. Gonna, I didn't know that was a thing, but they, this guy's definitely black. I thought it was a Swedish guy. And he sounds like a big black man, too. He doesn't sound like a small black guy. Black Lives Matter. I would imagine this Definitely is a big Black Lives Matter. Yeah. So this dude gets, yeah, Black Lives Matter. They're hanging out. Oh, uh, Swedish man. What are you not doing? You're getting too close to me. What are you getting so close to me for? No, no, dude. No. This dude's got a big Just stop it there. Stop. Okay, hold on. No. Stop. Go ahead. What's up? Dude, he looks like he's going to be shot in the back of the head by Pee Wee Herman at a porno theater. Look, have you seen a bigger creep-looking motherfucker than this guy? No, hardly, hardly. He's up there. Also, I got at, um, this sounds like Buster Rhymes. He's a kind. So, uh, and again, my big one of my biggest beefs with these pedos when they see them is like, do any of them ever get dressed up for a date? Like every single fucking time. That's like the thing that I find most offensive about these guys is that like, when I you know when when a grown up goes out to a date. Like, and you're trying to get laid, <laughs> try to make yourself look presentable. Now, I know it's a little different because you're trying to fuck a kid, but is it too much to ask to like throw on anything except the fucking Jamaica hoodie, the oversized like, anything? Can you put it on with the zipper? <laughs> it's too much to fucking ask for. I know, again, I know you're fucking a kid. Oh my but, like, God. Can you get dressed up a little bit, something? I don't know. Anyway, she goes on. Uh, my well, biggest yeah. problem with baby fuckers no sense yeah, of fashion my is baby is what they wear happy valentine's day trying to fuck baby I, I have a big problem with this go ahead <laughs> dress for the part you want not the part you have oh, oh this Taylor. oh dress for the baby parts you want well, I'm out of you, you out of all right out of you 31 I wasn't looks like a flip oh, of age 31 no, 13 no, flip of numbers to do nothing i know no, I get it. You were just helping her find her yes, keys. That's it. I wasn't trying to do anything bad or anything. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay, so time out, time out, time out. So the first thing I would do, <laughs> now I'm not a pedal, so I don't want to give, oh, my. you know, but I will say this. If I was in this situation, if I was guilty of any crime, okay, and some guy came up to me like this, the first thing I would say is, are you a cop? Okay, and they're going to say no. Then why the fuck am I talking to you? <laughs> I would just fucking leave. Wow. Like, yeah. You don't have yeah. to fucking talk to these people. Like, why the fuck are you talking? That's what I always want to say to them. Why the fuck are you talking? With Chris Hansen, you have no choice but to talk because the cops are in the garage and you know it. But with this guy, it's like, so you're not a cop and there's no cops around here. The random guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm out of here. I ain't saying shit. But again, they're pedophiles. They can't shut the fuck up. He goes on. What were you saying in the messages? <laughs> What? All right, you were messaging her, right? Yes. Yeah, good. That sounds okay. like you want to go ahead and read the messages? Yes, I know what I was saying. I don't need to read it. I know what I was saying. Oh, so how does that match up to what you're saying now? No, she just asked me to help her find her keys, so I was helping right. her find her keys. Right, I get that. But, I mean, what you were saying before, how does that match up to what you're saying now? Because now you're saying... No, I know what I said before. <clears throat> and can you stop you. interrupting me? Yes. yes All right. Yes. All right. So like you have a problem interrupting according to the conversation on the phone too, right? Yes. All right. <clears throat> Mr. Lassner, 620. Right? Yes, sir. Whose birthday is that on your left shoulder? My son's. Your son's? Seven, eight, what? Sixteen. He's how old? He's four. He's four? All right. So you see, I understand and know a little <clears throat> bit about you, right? Yeah. All right. So you're going to have to be honest, correct? Yes, sir. Nope. Right on. Uh, so right explain on. these messages. The messages saying that I want to see her in a thong and stuff like that. Is uh -huh. that what the messages was saying? Right. Uh, why were you wanting to see her in a thong? I just see that and like, like I do that to like to see girls because I just think that's just cute. Not like anything like sexual. Like I want to like that. No, nothing. Else. Oh, it wasn't right. sexual. You just wanna, 
he liked the the visual of it. Yeah, I'm not. I wouldn't. Just, I wouldn't just keep it on my phone. I wouldn't do nothing like that because I'm not like that. Oh, so he just wants to hang out with the kids. Okay, newsflash, pedos out there again. I don't want to be like the pedo lawyer or anything like that. But like, first of all, the <laughs> less talking you do, the better. There's no way to explain it. Saying that like you're going. There is one out. There is only one out that works with this. If you're ever caught with this, and that is to say, oh, I I was just. I was actually, I actually go on these websites to find these children so I can save them and tell their parents. That's the only fucking out that you have. Uh, like that's it. Well, whatever you do, don't be like, oh, I was just trying to hang out. Nobody hangs out with a 13 year old. That's not a fucking thing. That's not well, a thing. That's the that's the first time I've ever heard the oh what you talking about me saying I wanted to see this child in a thong. That's not a sexual thing. I just think it's cute. I want to see everything except the chocolate starfish, but it's not sexual. It's just yeah, cool. it's not, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so anyway, he, he's like, I want to have some cuddles. Mm. So he goes on to say, let's see what else. Cuddles. Old and I love oh, the father, and I wouldn't do anything like that. So can you explain um, the infatuation with younger girls and thongs? I like, have, how is it? I just have how is it not it. sexual? Like, I wasn't gonna go take her to my house and take advantage of her. I would never do that to any woman like No, that. That's never. Interesting, uh, Mr. Lasnier, because I didn't I didn't say that. You just admitted that to me. No, I know. I'm just saying According to your messages and yeah, not your own mouth saying, right I'm now. You're gotta... still interrupting me. Um, <laughs> this guy. You just said that uh, you weren't going to take her to your house. I didn't even ask that. Okay, Ooh. well, I was just, just telling you. I understand, but I believe you were telling me because your message is said as much. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. Because that's what you were here for. Is that right? To hang out with her, not to. <laughs> Where were you going to oh, hang, hang out, out with her at? Right. At my place, but not, I wasn't going to do like anything. No, no, right. no. You, totally you just said you weren't going to take her to your place. Now you're just no, saying. Sir, you... I was going to. So Except where I you were, weren't you? Anything sexual is what I was saying. All right, so where you were, weren't you? I wasn't going to do things like that. I would take my pictures to hang out. Is, is cuddling no. sexual? No, 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 no. no. What is that? Can we... arms around her and just hang out. Oh, yeah. Arms around <laughs> Stop it. Oh. Stop clapping. Stop it. No. He, guys, he wasn't going to do anything sexual. He was just going to put his just arms gonna around just going to cuddle in thongs. Cuddle, cuddle, man. Cuddle in thongs. There's nothing he sexual about that. There's a, there's a song about thong, 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 thong. Thong cuddling. Yeah, just thong cuddling. It's oh. a thing. Sometimes Public he's service announcement. Yeah. He's making he's making sure that if she wears a thong in the winter, she's going to get cold. That's all. Yeah, sometimes That's you right. just and she'll it. need cuddles. Uh, you'll get she'll cold in the winter. To stay warm. You'll need Thank cuddles. You, Duh. He's looking yeah. out for the children. Yeah, sometimes you just got to cuddle with a kid. Big deal. We cuddle. Amazon the kids. This is actually funny. Thong, 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 thong. This is actually funny because he's like, you know, this is actually a good point the cameraman makes. It's like, so cuddling's not a big deal, right? So listen to what he says. Just you want to put your arms around me? Can we cuddle? You don't want to cuddle? It's not sexual. It's just cool, right? Right. Come give me a cuddle. What, do you want one? Come give me a cuddle. I'm Come give me a cuddle, homie. Give him a cuddle. I thought it wasn't sexual. You see, I wouldn't do that. gets aggressive. Fuck up. Uh, this 13 year old girl that you were coming to see. <laughs> you cuddle with your head. Do. You're a grown man. And you're a security guard, right? At uh, Amazon? Yes, sir. No, he's not. He made that uh, up, by the way. <laughs> and uh, you work in the deli. Dave's Marketplace, yes, 11 yeah, years. Dave's Marketplace, yes, that's where it was. Gee, boy. That one, I believe. Yeah. What you going to do when you lose these jobs for coming to see kids? I just hope I don't lose my job. I don't want to. I really don't. I'm already, I am already got a domestic violence charge. I know. For what happened, you're, no. uh, explain this to me. Tell me how you were, uh, how you allow a woman to put a belt around your neck. I didn't. It's God, he sounds like bullshit. Yeah, it happened over bullshit. I didn't do it. I, she just threw it on me. I'm like, what are you doing? So you were. Oh, so again, let me show you what this actually says here. This is the message that uh, he puts up there. Uh, if you guys can see that at the bottom, it says. It's covering it up with just more videos there. But me and my ex got into a verbal argument. She had my laundry and belt at her place. She put my belt around my neck and then she pushed me onto the bed. So she sat on me. <laughs> and then I said, can you get the fuck off? Still said no. So I slapped her on the side of the head and then she choked me with the belt. So he's explaining, by the way, he's telling this to a 13 year old. 
like, oh yeah, this will make me more attracted to her. Like if I, if I just tell the world, like, oh yeah, you know. Down here, you like ah, la, 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 a belt just yeah, all of a sudden around your neck. Yes. That's kind of how you're going to see this kid. Huh? It just kind of happen. I agree, MJ. Just nice run. Time. Just run. There's no way a grown man just stands there and, oops, uh, a, a, a belt that goes around your waist, no, rounds up around your neck. No, I know, what, I know what happened. I wouldn't just hit women. I'm not like that. Oh, no. You came to see a kid, so there's a lot of things you might do. This is low as fuck. I don't know. Nope. No, you don't. You came to do it. <laughs> Let's see what he calls the mom. No problem, man. <clears throat> Explain some of these messages. Well, I would never cuddle you, but according to your standards of cuddle, <laughs> you could cuddle anybody because it doesn't lead to anything sexual. I'm not, I'm not like that. I'm not just. I'm not. Are you a tree hugger too? No. Definitely not. Why not cuddle? Look, there's a tree right there. We could check it out. No. You don't want to cuddle with the tree? No. All right, let's make this serious because I wouldn't make you cuddle with the tree. You'd kill the motherfucker. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> um, what kind of porn do you watch? What kind of watch porn do you watch? Lesbian porn. Lesbian porn. Lesbian porn. Like, why would you ever answer these questions? Lesbians. I'm concerned with your infatuation. It would have been better if we said thong porn. <laughs> thong porn. Anything with What's thong. Your, oh my, <laughs> thong porn. porn. So they're like older. Uh, older. I like older. <laughs> All right, I watch. So uh, I, go ahead. I watch Nickelodeon. Uh, now, so now this is the new I thing. Let her know what Calling the moms, know like the mass pedal poachers, Jay from Pittsburgh. That's cool. You can wake her up. He starts doing this. I don't. All right. Well, okay. Check this out. How we'll do you guys feel about the calling of the moms? Because this is the new thing that they all do. Oh man, that's go a ahead, tough ask one. Him. <laughs> what do you think, intern? Do you like it or no? It's. I, I don't know. That's tough. That that's uh, that's a slippery line right there. Yeah, exactly. Like, uh, well, just because I, I don't know. I just feel like, well, like, I feel like two things here. Either you're going for the arrest, or you're just doing this to fucking fuck with the dude, right? Either one or the other. They're, they're going for the fuck with him. Hundred percent. Well, it's no. We, I think it's to demoralize him. Like, all right, now now you got to tell your mommy. Like, I'm telling on you. Now, I hope you never do this again, they all say, and all that bullshit, right? Yeah, it's, not, yeah. it's just so for it's them. Not, it's for them to be the, don't do what I want, creep. Yeah, you know that's all. Mean? Exactly. It's like a power it's thing. Right? And that's clearly what this guy's doing. Like, this, but I, this like guy's you said, here, like, is there, like you said, is there another person? You can't come up to me, no matter what I've done, and make me call my mother. You I'm just not can't. Yeah, you can't. Unless, unless, you got a pistol. Pistol. unless you got a pistol. Yeah, who the fuck's going to make me call my mother? Like, like, I don't he call his mom every day. Doing. And if I was just like, the dude threatens him a few times here. Like, dude, like this. Uh, like, first of all, if I'm this, like, I take a fucking gun out. Like, dude, put the fucking camera down and give me your fucking, give it to me. I'm, t see your fucking phone? That's my phone now, motherfucker. Take oh, it for, like, no. but no, no, I mean, I'm serious. Like you said earlier, like, you're dealing with criminals here. Criminals are desperate. The phone yeah, is the no, I, I Absolutely. The the but look like, at this little creep. Look at him, man. He probably he feels that. guilty when he beats his own dick. He ain't fucking taking shit from anybody. Yeah, That man couldn't take it. milk money from a 13-year-old. Never mind something from a grown but man. But eventually, eventually they're going to find a poacher or a pedophile that's fucking desperate. You know what I mean? That's like willing to like do anything to stay out of jail. Like and have you gone down this... Right have you gone down this wormhole on YouTube with all the different predator poacher people? No, but like, how many of these do people it. am I do it? Do it. And a lot of them are like gang members that are covered from the chin down in tattoos and shit like that, trying to fuck kids and stuff. At some point, one of these assholes is going to be, I'm not going back to jail. And yeah. they're going to get through you to get away. And right, I'm not, exactly. not going to give a fuck. Yeah, you know what I mean. If you want to play that game? Go ahead. I'd respect it more if these people found the creeps, made them admit it, and then gave them a fucking stomping. I know you're gonna catch a charge, but oh well. If you go yeah. to jail for it, you're gonna be a hero. No one's gonna fucking take anything from you. Hey, this is the guy that curb stomped that creep trying to fuck a kid. Yeah, You'd be a hero. Sure. I could respect yeah. that. So let's listen to the call. Let's listen to the call, of mom. Well, no, we don't we have you. Who are you raising your fucking voice at? No, we don't need to get the Who are you raising your fucking voice at, dog? Now, this is the shit where yeah, it's just like, your voice. this is the, like, dude, who the fuck are you talking to me like that, motherfucker? You're a dude with a YouTube channel. But again, 
They're not smart enough to realize that. that. You're the fucking one that came out to see a kid. I know. We don't need to get the police involved. Oh, don't get me hot, dog. Don't get me hot, no, dog. We don't need to get the police. Yeah, we didn't need to get your ass involved, but you here. Yes, but we don't need to Shut get your mouth. The fuck you mean? Oh, wow. What the y'all so listen, y'all so fucking crazy. You come out, what you want to swing? No. Okay, you come out here coming to see a kid, and then you want to get pissed off at what, homie? I should have beat your face in. Right? You should. Right. Then you had no glasses, yeah. you had no guy, you had no fucking face. Mm. So don't give me no fucking attitude. Okay, I'm, oh, you, motherfucker. Man, sorry. I'm trying to be cool with you. Yeah. Sorry. I'm Shit. I'm sorry. I'm Why sorry. you gotta bring me to this point, man? I'm sorry. No, you're not. Yes, I am. Oh, damn, you pissed me off. I'm sorry. Damn. Mr. Lines is so pissed off. Anyway. So call your mom. Ah, she is the cop. Speakerphone. Okay. Yes, yeah, see, no. Nope. I better hear a gun click because yeah, other exactly, than that, I ain't exactly. calling nobody. Bitch, I ain't calling nobody. You better put a gun in my head. The call with no. mom. This is a great call with mom. Go. I'm gonna say I'm calling my mom and I'm calling you. I'll say I'll call my dad here. Here he is. <laughs> Black life. Hi, mom. I'm a bit of a little heap right now, mom. Oh, Christ, oh Christ, what? I'm in a bit of a pickle. The meatloaf. You know what you did? There you go. But I, I was on Whisper. Whisper gets me in trouble. And I came here to see a girl and she's underage and I wasn't trying to do anything sexual with her at all. And now I'm just being recorded, so I'm, I figure I call you and tell you the truth, and I'm owning up as a man and an adult and as a father. No, you're not. You did. I'm owning up as a man and an adult. Bitch, you're not doing it. This guy's like, no, you're not. You have an I'm owning up to trying to fuck a kid. Yeah. He goes, I was on Whisper, and I get myself in trouble on Whisper. What the fuck is that? I don't fucking know. Probably some another creepy. That's even a creepy name for an app yeah, or whatever, it is, isn't it? Whisper. It is, it's like, a secret, like hey kid, kid don't tell anyone. Yeah. Come over here. That's a great. Brett would always be banned from Whisper. Yeah. <laughs> was, so he goes. I'd be talking too loud. Be like, exactly. <laughs> whisper. Like I want to fuck, sir. You have to whisper. You're booted, <laughs> man. Thirty. Are we things an explanation for? Him? <laughs> yeah. All right. They gotta so, do this. This is where he tells the mom what really happens. And tell her about the messages where you talk about cuddling. We, we yeah, talked we about getting that I would want to see you in a thong. That's what I said. And what about something else? Oh, that, that you wanted to do to me? Oh, yeah, that would lick your pussy. Yes. <laughs> oh, no. nothing to sexual mom. about that. Oh, well, you said a lot more than that. You said suck remember. your tits. You got really graphic. That's what I said. Suck your tits and lick your pussy. That's, that's all. That's, that's, that's all it. I said. That's all I said. But, but who cares, right? No, I care. That's all. <laughs> I know now. I'm being recorded and I know they're just trying to get me to understand this mom oh. I, I know they're trying to help me out here they're not this trying poor to guy has five bars to... he can't even like have like bad service hold on hold on you guys can't you gotta hear the mom the mom's comments that's, 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 that's all I said that's all I said that's all I who cares right no I care I know mom and I'm being recorded and I know they're just trying to get me to understand this, Mom. I, I know. They're trying to help me out here. They're not trying to fuck with me. They're trying to help me out. Okay, well, who are you with? Who are you with? This person I met on... No the games show. for weirdos team. Who? No games. No games. No games for, for weirdos. weirdos teams. That's, Team. First Team. of all, that's the worst fucking pedo poacher name I've ever heard in my life. No games <laughs> for wig. Too many fucking words. Just stick it easy. Predator poachers, like that's fucking easy. No, like Pop Squad, no games for weirdo teens. What the fuck? Boom. I'll come up with something new. Creep catches or something. Yeah, something like Ocean State. I don't know, something like Providence. Like you're in Providence. Providence? Hog hiders. Yeah. Ocean State. Yeah, the Ocean State. <laughs> I don't know. Like it goes on. I think it's an online thing, but it's I don't know what it is. But anyway, mom, um, that's not the point mm -hmm. that we're trying to make here. But they're just trying to put me on blast that this is not right and it's inappropriate and it's not cool. And I understand this fully to the fullest. And they're not trying to. They're not trying to get me in trouble at all. They're just trying to get me to admit that this is not right and it's fucked up. All right. Hey, 
you need to stay off of all that stuff. I know. I'm going to after tonight. Totally. totally get I need to get some help. Yes, I, I have counseling. I need to get some help. Yeah. Imagine if he has to go home and his mom checks his apps what? every day. Yeah. Mom, you your phone. <laughs> no, my mom is saying thank you for helping me. My mom thank yes, you, ma'am. Can you please stay on top of your son? Mom, can you please stay on top of me? I don't. <laughs> That's the wrong thing bad, to say to him. Bad choice of words. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. All right, mom. I love you. All right. All right, I got mom, a mom who's like, it's not a big deal. Like, yeah. Imagine you get that call from uh, your fucking son. Like, so uh, I've been cornered in the parking lot. There's a big black guy here. He's putting me on his YouTube channel. He's what's called a predator poacher, mom. See, I was trying to fuck a kid. And um, basically, if I pretend like I need help right now, I pretend like I'm really sorry about this, then he yep. might not call the cops on me. That's basically what he's thinking. Oh, and by the way, Although mom. that's when he's got kissing his ass. Yes. Go oh, ahead, yes. Intern. They're trying to help me. Yeah, he's like, oh, they're not. No, they're being wicked cool. They're trying to help me see the error. Like he's starting to suck their dicks now. Oh, that's exactly. Trying to get out of it. Right. Exactly. Like, that's exactly yeah. what he's thinking. Like, what can I say right now to get this guy to sympathize with me? But newsflash, yep, there's yep. nothing you can say that can make these. Like, nobody's gonna feel bad for you at all. Like, you you were yeah, there. Yeah. When you said, hey, I want to, I want to cuddle you in a thong and eat your pussy and suck your tits. Nothing sexual about it. Yeah, we exactly. could throw on some Nickelodeon and chill. What the fuck? <laughs> Nickelodeon and chill. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, okay. Yes, Mama, I'm going to ask this guy if he has a thong on. Uh, <laughs> all right, Mom, you got to get on top of me when I get home. Grab your thong. <laughs> Nickelodeon and chill. Cuddle time for Mommy. Yeah. Nickelodeon and chill. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. All right, so uh, you guys want to do some freestyle? Some adult swim. We got a question. Should we do some uh, freestyle? Absolutely. Uh, okay, we got to fix Good luck screen. on your freestyle. Okay. I took some big dicks today. Happy Hanukkah. I'm going to mute my shit. Okay, we're going to do it. <laughs> Black Lives Matter. Okay, let's do it. All right, pull it up. Let's go. Ratchet asshole by the name of Amanda. She got more disease in the country of Uganda. Daddy for sure is a bit of a loser. But mommy got more miles than a PT cruiser. Invites his buddy over because he got out of prison. Then he sees his girl and his cock is arisen. She will let you bang her if you is a felon. Ride so many dicks that they call a Magellan. Just cause you handle shaft like you is a caddy Don't mean you can't gotta call a crackhead daddy Bitch uses crack fruit like he's a prop Cause you grabbing more balls than a short stop After asking questions, sure was a trick But the kid's health comes second a dick Shady ass dude named Johnny Versolo Hitting on chicks, but his game ain't got no flow though Was a state rep, but he had to resign Campaign slogan was, at least I got mine Wrote the number one rule of politics Ain't no one wanna see your nasty dick pics Dude probably thinks that he is a stallion Bitch, your dick ain't special just cause you was Italian Asking women out, let the message is creepy Take him to the early bird cause he's a sleepy No one wants to fuck you so don't even bother Ain't no bitches getting wet for a grandfather Shady ass dude from the streets of war whack Feening for kids like Peter does crack If it's your birthday and you was 13 He'd like to stick it in you like the COVID vaccine Statutory rape, that dude got a hunger 13 is cool, but it'll go even younger In a prison cell is where he belongs Cause of his thirst for little kids and thongs Called up mommy and the story wasn't sticking He's up on the underage pussy licking Nor shore bitch by the name of Michelle Turtle boy exposed now she in a jail cell Better watch out cause the hoe is a thief Snatch it smelling like expired ground beef You can sell the shit but I wouldn't try it Cause she ain't nothing more than a ratchet porch pirate Bitch should be giving head like she working at lids Can't work alone so she using the kids Stealing packages for limp and VPD. How the fuck does ratchet hoe get custody Loves to snort pills and blame big pharma Jigs up hoe now suck on this karma Uh Woo Uh that is hot. Yeah. Very well nice. Well, well done, sir. 
<laughs> plenty of fire emojis. As long as I see the fire emojis, I'm good. Okay. We're good. Okay. <laughs> Woo! I need a cigarette. Okay. Um, any questions? Uh, Before we end this, we'll ask Turtle Boy if you guys have any questions or anything. Feel free to fire away. <laughs> or Brett, myself, or intern Turtle. It's all good. No. Uh, that fucking... Should have seen <laughs> how I sucked him off today. I did. Happy Kwanzaa. I was just like sending messages. Happy quarantine. <laughs> Happy quarantine. I'm going to start doing that. Quarantine is dick. Uh, <laughs> oh, dude, I ate so much you should. this morning. It was fucking good. Okay. Uh, Suzanne says, for your update, um, I'll, I'll send, I'm going to email the attorney that's on top of this Monday. I promise. I need to get on that more. It's just another one of the things that's on my list, you know? Eating ass. Yeah. Uh, how did that thing go for the Turtle Club thing? It went well. You got some sort of test. Yes. Yeah. It went well, uh, give it a. Um, it's coming soon. I promise. Trust me. It's coming soon. Awesome. I promise. Um, is intern not have his camera on because he's flicking his bean asking for a friend? Yes. Okay. Good. Okay. Um, can you continue to do bone rides? And get to all 351 towns. I haven't stopped doing those a few years ago because they're time consuming. I got to like 160 of them. I guess I could keep going. You know what I need? I need to do a, an update. Like five years ago, I did the 20 biggest yeah. dumps in Massachusetts blog. I need to redo that. We need to do a tour, like a top 25 thing. And if I had time, I would love to do like a whole New England thing. Like the big, I'd like to see that. What's the biggest shithole in Maine, Brett? Dude, How much time it, do you have, is, buddy? Dude. Close, but Portland, I would say Portland, Portland just because of the, yeah. You haven't yes. seen the, the homeless sections of Portland. Like when you come off the highway, there's literally fucking thousands of little play grats. Yeah. That's that's better. Yeah. Uh, any other questions, guys, uh, if you guys have? Let's see. Someone said Athens. Man. Athens? Athens? I ain't. I've never been there. I don't go anywhere. I stay fucking here. Okay, any oh, other questions? We'll call it a night. Um, go to the – yeah, I mean, I wanted to do a Connecticut one. I did a Rhode Island one, the top five biggest dumps of Rhode Island. I think that came in, like, 2016 I did. I think it was – what was on the list? It was uh, number one uh, – it was uh, – Gina Raimundo's house? Huh? Gina Raimundo's house? No, that didn't make it. Uh, uh, on that list was Central Falls and then Pawtucket, then Providence – Woonsocket and West Warwick that made the list, but I got to do a Connecticut one. Did you ever do? Did you ever do any New Hampshire? I could have. No. no, I never did New Hampshire one. Never, dude. New Hampshire. There's parts of New Hampshire that are so oh. far from me, like up at the top there. It's like ten hours to the top of New Hampshire. When the fuck am I gonna do dude, that? Dude, just just Trashua and Manchester would be worth the rides. Trashua, Nashville, New Hampshire is fucking disgusting. Is it real? Yeah. Oh, I it's all juggaloosers and fucking junkies. Yeah, maybe so. I'll Damn. take your word. Um, I just picture everything in Maine being like a coal rain. Like a lot yeah, of coal rain. It is. But, but like my neighborhood is just like, say, any of the hills. Grafton Hill, Fern Hill. It's all just three and four deckers, you know, fucking just stacked together. Little shitty corner stores. Drug dealers, hookers, all the fun shit. Sounds lovely. <laughs> All right. Anything else, guys, for tonight? Any more questions from you turtle riders out there? Leave my shithole of Woonsocket alone. We'll do. We'll do. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah big Connecticut are in the northeast corner. That's true. There is a lot there. Um, if I traveled another 10 uh, – Laura says, if I traveled 10 hours, I'd be in another country. Well, that's because you live on an island. You'd be in the ocean, first of all. Um, but well, they can't go anywhere right now. Oh, though. The Clemson hit. A they, they're locked in first. No. That Clemson hit. Brett, did you guys watch the game yesterday? I mean, Notre Dame lost again. What else is? No, I didn't. I didn't see it live. I saw the video after the fact. I think this is and that dude hit? spun it. That guy led with his shoulder. Right. That's what I'm I think saying. he led with his shoulder. The dude spinning into his head. I say clean hit. Let me. Let me. I'll show you. Yeah, I don't think it was targeting, like they said. Let me. Uh, I'll pull it up here. Let me show you. This is the intern hit. doesn't know what we're talking about because it, it wasn't figured. Is- <laughs> <laughs> look at this. So look how fast. So this Ohio State wins the game. This is a big upset, and Justin Fields is running like full fucking speed. If you're a quarterback, 
and you're like supposed to be a first round draft pick. What do you do here, Brett? Get the fuck out of the way. You fucking slide, right? Oh, 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 the quarterback. Yeah, yeah. You go fucking slide. So they can't touch you. Yeah, yeah so they can't whack you. You don't want to three people ready to just jack you up. Yeah, enough of this like quarterback. I got, I'm gonna run down the field and then whine about the way I'm tackled. Watch this. Now takes off, makes a cut. I, I watched this hit in real time and I'm like, like this seems comp- like the guy's going full speed. He's trying, he's trying to spin here because he obviously wants to get the first down and he gets jacked up. He, he tried to go like that so he could spin off the head and get the first down and be the hero. Yeah. That's a classic, Nothing. classic crown of the helmet. Yeah, and it doesn't matter when you use the crown of the helmet. It doesn't matter whether you. But like he used the crown. He, he was leading with the shoulder. The guy spinned into his helmet. What's he supposed to do? Like, what's yeah, he supposed to do? Exactly. So he gets. The, the, I say clean it. I say clean it. Bullshit. Yeah, no, I think it was fine. Yeah, completely bullshit. It wasn't bullshit. targeting or nothing. Yeah. So it's great. Just great. Push the everything up. And do, can we just see that? This Did you see the throw that uh, Fields had in this game? It was fucking amazing. No. It was one of the greatest throws I've ever seen in any like better than a like m- better than any fucking Brady throw. Like watch this uh field touchdown. Let's Whoa. see. Check this out. Like it's one of the most amazing fucking throws I've ever seen. Just the one. That that was a good one, but let's see. Oh, this is the one. Check this out. Look at this. Look where he is. Like, look where he's standing when he throws this ball. Yeah, no, that's a, he he a goddamn fucking missile. 36 yard line. 36 yard line. Boom. Like, it just keeps going. It lands in the fucking end zone. <laughs> that is a six. That that's a great fucking throw. throw. On a dime into double coverage in fucking stride. That's one of the greatest touchdown passes I've ever seen in football. Like, that was fucking amazing. That's, yeah. That's <laughs> he outplayed Lawrence yesterday. Like, what a fucking game that was by Justin Fields. One what do you think games. about fucking uh, the Saints running back there? COVID Kamara? Well, yeah, I'm going yeah. to the so I feel a lot better now. Uh, but it's on. Like, think what happened? My, so, Alvin Kamara, one of the best running backs in football, who, by the way, was a four string running back at Alabama behind Derrick Henry, TJ Yeldon, and Kenyon Drake somehow. A lot of people don't know that. And he transferred to Tennessee because he couldn't get any time. Alvin Kamara is not playing because he has COVID, and all the running backs on the Saints got COVID. So they're not playing either. My question is, what the fuck would happen if this happened before the Super Bowl? Like, what what would happen if, um you know, Patrick Mahomes caught COVID a week before the Super Bowl? Oof. Yeah, no, then they, I guess they just fucked or they changed the rules. I don't know. It's all crazy. It, it didn't, it's worth too who much just money had to play them. with no wide receivers? That, that was the um, the the Browns, and they, lost the game, and they lost the game because of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. They had zero wide I mean, receivers. It happens, all, it happens. Yeah, and another team, they had they lost all their quarterbacks one week. I think it was the Rams. They, we goth caught it. And uh, so all this shit, um, you know, this keeps happening. Uh, my question is like, so if I'm the Kansas City Chiefs, right? What I do this week is like, as soon as this fucking game is over uh, on Sunday tomorrow, because they get a buy coming up, is Patrick yeah. Mahomes gets COVID that fucking day? That day, we're getting it right now. We're get, get it over with, right? Don't risk it. Sure, yeah. I mean, do you ten days? I would, I would quarantine my whole team. All my starters would be no, locked in a team. hotel. You somewhere. can't trust them. These guys are going to strip clubs. They're going to do shit. You can't trust it. You <laughs> you let them all get it. If you get it, then you can't get it again. So just fucking get it. Get it over with. You know what I mean? That's what I would do if I'm a coach. I'm not risking this yeah, shit. Fair enough. Before the Super Bowl. Fuck that shit. You're not. And I'm sorry. If Patrick Mahomes got it like the week before the Super Bowl, he better fucking play with COVID. I don't give a fuck. Like, stop it. It's the fucking Super Bowl. Fucking work. I can't believe the NFL is participating in this shit. I, I'm happy they had a season, but I thought if there was any organization in the world that would stand up to the Corona Bros, it would be the NFL. Like, you don't want us to sell out our stadiums? Um, how about suck on these nuts instead? How about that? Like, why aren't we why aren't we filling stadiums? Like fucking unbelievable. Buffalo's changing the rules. 
right? They had like nobody in the stadiums ever. No, we're not risking it. Yeah, now like, we're in the playoffs. Well, yeah. maybe yeah. we'll have people in the stadium. <laughs> I mean, literally, Notre Dame was, and by the way, Notre Dame, my Irish, right? A lot of people are like, oh, they didn't belong in a playoff. Yes, they did. They, what do you want them to do? They fucking do. They beat their schedule every year. What the fuck are they supposed to do? They, they, they earn their way in, and then we get cream pie. The problem is there's such a gap between the, the one, two, and three, and then the four teams. Every college playoff is like this. Would you rather Oklahoma get cream pied by Alabama? Would that make you happier? Or how about Texas A&M, who lost to Alabama by 30 this year? Would you prefer they get cream pied? No, just watch the Irish get cream pied. It's a tradition like none other. We, we knew we were going to lose going into that game, but guess what? We covered the spread. We only lost by 17. It, we held Alabama to less points than they've been held all year. It wasn't that fucking bad, okay? Alabama's on another fucking level, and it is what it is. So Notre Dame absolutely deserved to be there. They just got, you know, it is what it is. There was a huge talent differential there. Anyway. Hmm. I think every time a team gets cream pied. <laughs> Yeah, uh, that lady quotes her, her boyfriend. Yeah, I'm husband. saying that's, that's been the movie. theme of tonight's show. Cream pie. That should be the thumbnail for tonight. Cream pies and cum shots tonight. Turtle blue live. And big dicks. And big dicks. We got some really good dick for you this week. Happy Thanksgiving. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but, Jesus anyway. is rising. It's Easter, baby. Yeah. Uh, uh, so, yeah. I mean, it's just like I'm not quarantining. Quarantine this dick. You're not getting – I'm not staying home. And this shit, they're gonna start blaming you. Oh, fucking! I'm. A, I'll save this for another episode, Mike. I want. I want an episode without ranting about Corona. So that's new. Uh, but I, I had a lady at the grocery store. So you know how you have like the thirty fucking five hour grocery store lines because everybody has to quote yes. unquote stay, you know, distance. Oh yeah, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm familiar with social distancing. Yes. Yeah, and and I ended up talking to the lady. Blah blah blah. We went back and forth. I'm like, whatever. I already had it. She's like, oh. <gasps> You're keeping a mask on for my health, not yours. I'm like, whoa, this is escalated real quick. Wait, you said you already had COVID, you told her? Yeah. And so I was they like, I already had it. It was yeah, fucking nothing. It was a three day oh. headache. You also, for my protection, so I can't have it again. So you have nothing to worry about. I'm like the safest dude in the world. Yeah, that's why that's why I was saying I was kind of like making jest it, like, hey, it's all right. No, 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 no. And then like five minutes later, she's like, by the way, um, I'm glad to see that you're healthy. I was like, whatever. <laughs> Get the uh, fuck out of here. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. oh it's no. It's natural selection at this point. Fuck them. Like, everybody I know at this point, like, I didn't know anyone that got coronavirus. Now everybody I know got coronavirus. My brother got it. In-laws got it. Everybody fucking got coronavirus. And the worst you. I've heard from any of them is they lost their sense of smell, which sounds like a solution more than a problem. Like, if I lost my sense of smell, dude, I would be ripping ass in front of everybody. <laughs> that fucking stinks, huh? I wouldn't know. I can't fucking smell. It, it's funny you say that because I lost my sense of smell for like uh, oh, dude. Four, four months. Four you months. You know, you know, ripping ass. That's like the ultimate. Imagine having two weeks of not being able to smell your own farts. All I would do is fart. I'd be, I was in a construction trailer and I would never spray the fucking spray because I was like, yeah, it doesn't smell like anything. <laughs> Just leave there after blowing it up. <laughs> we need a turtle boy COVID sleepover. That's a good point. There's something that. seriously wrong with both of you. Get, come and get to the yeah. end. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Everybody's fine with COVID. Like, shut up. All right. Anyway, why don't we call it a night, guys? But uh, it's been yeah. real. Thank yeah. You the cream pie episode has come to an end. Uh, hope you get some great this week, dick this weekend. Happy New Year's. Yeah, everybody, everybody and gets your kid hates you. And yeah, your child big, hates you. Yeah, your child hates you, yeah. All right, guys, we will uh, see you all on Tuesday for the next episode of Turtle Boy Live. Thanks for all the donuts. Peace, Turtle Riders. Later.